charge. What is up? What's chat? up? It's just the three of us? What the fuck? I don't know Finally. where Trevor is. Trevor will be Trevor's on. late. He's just, he's Trevor. He wouldn't be Trevor if he was here on time. I'm, a, I'm taking a shower. Taking a shower. I'm in the car, <laughs> Trevor, boys. I'm in the car. I just, yeah. How are you guys? I'm good. Good, good. good. I do this big light. Yeah, let's do the big one. What the fuck? Why not? All right. Turn oh. it on the stream. Checking it out. What's up, doll lickers? How's everybody doing? Holy shit. We got a lot of people. In Hello. Here. Drunk Watch Nada. Darren Shaving proves that he's. Comrade he looks... Trash Rat, I just asked you. I just did that. Jesus Christ. When are you guys going to discuss you've been yellow mustarded? I don't know. Never, because you just asked? Oh, I shit. we already did. No, we haven't done it. Darren, do you do any of that Maybe. asshole parenting shit where if your kids ask for something, you're like, well, because you asked, no. <laughs> no. My no, dad would always do that kind of shit. Really? Dad, can we go see Beetlejuice? Well, not because you asked. <laughs> Helen, Helen Killer said, said we already did. Oh, we already did? Yeah, yeah I think we did. That oh wow! Well, I totally don't remember yeah. that. Six yeah, hours ago, I said somebody... it, you guys were like, "No," but then some rando in chat said it, and you guys were like, "I guess so." Great. Six Great. hours ago, someone called my name is Zach too. Donated a hundred dollars six hours ago, and hey. he said, "Hey Zach, it's Zach. Please do Wars done. My friends and I quote, ha 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 ha, earned this in Warzone all the time." Smooches, let's go to Mars. Whoa, 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 whoa. This guy seems very cool to me. <laughs> I like him. Darren, right, are you making Ernest. a list here? I got it already. Twerking Ernest, donated 20 uh, bucks. Says, show Sam some love by showing Skatefall tonight. No. The Katata Fish donated 10 bucks. Thank you, guys. Darren, write all of those down except for Skatefall. <laughs> Bad at War. <laughs> Ernest. Someone, I, whatever that's called. I think it's called... Uh, what the fuck is that called? Dramatic soldiers or something like overly Hole dramatic in my head. soldiers. Don't Hole make fun in of head. Me. Yeah. So somebody That's, says, Sam, what is your Don't album name on Spotify? It. Please, I've searched for hours. What album are they talking about? It's called Dog Dick, but it's like oh. dot 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 dog dick. Oh. And it's a picture of a lipstick. It's actually, it's actually, um, I had someone on the. If you go to the the Reddit, someone posted a thread about it that was very nice it's very cool now somebody says oh, nice. two fucking ads in one minute we're not running ads i think maybe my soundcloud oh 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 yeah yeah yeah. yeah. trashy maybe. samurai thanks for gifting you fucking mensch <laughs> look at you speaking of trashy samurai i'm replaying ghosts of tsushima right now have you guys played that no no nope. yeah. You don't have Wait, to. which ones? Is that the the Dark Souls one, or is that the other no, one? No, Sekiro is the Dark Souls one, and that rules. Ghost of Tsushima is like a, it's like a Far Cry, but you're a samurai, and it's like you can't skip any of the cutscenes, and it's brutally boring when you're not fighting people. Uh, <laughs> oh, Mosh Pit uh, Cafe, uh, thanks I... for gifting. Okay, so people are asking about the Obama plate. Let's just talk about the auctions real quick while we're waiting for Trevor. We got fucked. We've got fucked by the Obama plate. I still have it. So here's what happened. eBay pulled us down. eBay fucked us. They, they, they shadow banned us. I, I swear to God, I think somebody reported us. Obama fucking the Statue of Liberty. I don't know I, what's going on. I like, was saying we should, have, we should have listed it as businessman fuck statue. Well, in retrospect, I would agree with wow. you. But. I'd you should have brought that them. up when we were making the listing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think eBay did the right thing. Good Darren, on them. get the fuck. Close your window. Good on them. Get out. You're done. Um, so, we. That, this is now. And, and, did I say this? The person who bought the sexy fawn, by the way, emailed me at 1130 saying, I gambled all my Dogecoin and I can't buy it. So, they had to back out. So, again, one more week, no more sexy fawn sale. So that fell through. We wasted another week on sexy fun. So eBay's fucked us twice. Uh, I think we're done with eBay. I think we're done with eBay. So what we're going to do, maybe I'll wait for Trevor to talk about what we're going to do on the sexy fun thing. Because 
We should. I don't even understand oh, what we're gonna do. No, no. With the with the plates, we're gonna do. We're gonna auction the plates here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's just so annoying that the dude. And we've got plans for the sexy fun. The sexy fun, we're not worried about. We know what we're gonna do. Yeah, with we're it. solid. But it's we're just solid. so fucking annoying that the dude won the won the sale on the sexy fun, and then was like, um, oh, I'm so, so. And he felt bad, or so he says. But he gambled away his Dogecoin and couldn't afford the sexy fun after he won it. Come on, dude, you're killing us. You're fucking he had seven us. beers in his belly, and he was like, "It's mine." So we're gonna do I put so, all my Doge on it. I, I yeah, I get now why why like mafiosos and like you know like why they're like I get no, why those you owe me the money. Yeah, I'm gonna break your yeah, fucking. Yeah, I'm thumbs. gonna kill yeah. you now. I get why they do that. <laughs> Okay. After two eBay sales going wrong. So here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna auction the plate off, but we're not doing any more eBay. Here's stuff, Trevor, right? Derek Lunar Elephant, who's our our like our homeboy here, who does a ton of stuff. Yeah, what up, man? What's up, Trevor? I'm talking about Trevor. I'm talking about the auctions and our our grievous disappointment with eBay. Oh yeah, eBay sucks. Yeah. So Derek Whatever. is setting up a Discord channel where we're going to do the whole auction tonight live on stream for the plate. And Trevor, I haven't said yet what we're going to do with the sexy fawn outfit. I thought I'd let you. Take... Oh, well, are we going to say what we're going to do with it? Yeah. yeah. Good. Might as well. Yeah, yeah I think we, we're going to give it to uh, the the guy. Yeah, the one so, guy. But well, I thought we week. weren't going to say what we were going to Okay. Oh, yeah. I we thought it was going to be a surprise. But yeah, say, whatever. Let's just say what we're gonna do. Last week, the dude, I mean, the dude that originally the, bought the sexy fawn and then had to back out of it because his wife was mad at him, and then stepped up to the plate with Leonardo Teninci. But the guy, the real MVP that I'm talking about, let me pull his name up here. Um, Leonardo Teninci is very funny. Uh, <laughs> Daddyus Maximus donated 5k. Without he just donated it, not expecting to get the sexy fawn outfit. But we're gonna we're nice. gonna send it to him because he's he yeah. stepped up and did the honorable thing. So I'm gonna send him the fucking Obama plate too. So Daddy's Maximus, whisper us. We'll get it. We'll get in touch with each other. Give us your address, and we're gonna what? fucking we're gonna send it to you. you Is he in here? My plan he's was we, we should have we should have told him that we were gonna we're it's it's done. But I I wanted to tell him hey we'll send you something cool and then send the sexy fawn costume. Mm. And not even have no have it be a surprise, wife, right? With the costume, yeah, that's but the that only was... catch is you have to pork your wife. <laughs> yeah, in and you don't have to send us a video of it, but you just have to. Do oh, it. I thought you were saying like his <laughs> wife opening the package. Who needs to? Who needs to wear it in that situation? In that the sex wife. situation? Anyone? The yeah. wife. It already has a slit. Okay. All right. Getting a lot of love for my. This is an official Black Sabbath T-shirt. Good on them. Um, so uh, how's everyone doing? Good, man. How are you? I'm oh, good. Trevor, talk about Civil War. Civil War on drugs is available on Amazon.com uh, for uh, rental and purchase. It's been yeah. available for about a week. Um, it's done really well. Like we can only see this. Uh, we can only see the statistics for the first four days but it's been purchased and rented over 2000 times. So it's doing uh, uh, really well. It's helping us uh, get towards the movie. Um, if you haven't seen it, check it out. Tell your friends. Uh, it's remastered. It's the best it's ever looked because we actually, not only did we put it in its original uh, you know, uh, high def, but we ran filters on it to clean it up more. And so it looks good. It's uncensored. It's got a new song on it. Check it out. Uh, I, we're very proud of it, and uh, and uh, we're and we should do a commentary for it at some point. That, yeah, yeah. I think we yeah. should put the commentary yeah. behind the Patreon, which we are going to launch very very soon. Um, but I think that's something we could put into the Patreon. Um, but by the way, I feel like um, I'm going to get the official number this week of where we are. But I think we're damn close to um, 150. For the movie we gotta update oh, yeah? that jug sorry guys yeah, we gotta update the uh, thing but i think we're close to 150,000 for the movie which is awesome oh and here here's the big news for the week is that this week uh we start filming the movie 
we start recording, recording the audio for it. Um, so all of us, we've kind of made little makeshift uh, recording studios in our homes uh, because of COVID. Uh, Fuck. So I was going to fucking, I was going to do this from my little sound fort that I made in my closet. Oh, I was going to do this whole thing. Oh. I forgot. I would have had to set up lights and everything. But yeah, we started audio testing this week. Um, yeah, it's it's pretty awesome. Yeah, and so, uh, you know, starting Monday, Whitest Kids You Know, movie number two, Mars, is officially in production. And that is 100% thanks to you guys who have been subscribing to the YouTube channel, subscribing here, sending donations. Thank you very much. You know, this is your guys' movie, and, and we're really thankful for uh, how generous you guys have been. And we, we can't believe that we're starting it now. It's awesome. And the cool thing is, that means in a couple of weeks, I don't know how many weeks, but like within the next like couple months, we're gonna be able to start showing, uh, the first thing we'll be able to show is uh, the character designs, cause that'll be the first thing it's done. So then we'll show you guys all the characters throughout the, the film. And then we're gonna get uh, actual animatics scenes that have been put together with just kind of rudimentary drawings and we'll be able to show you we'll, we'll choose some moments that aren't going to spoil any big jokes or like big surprises in the film and we'll keep you guys abreast of the uh progress throughout the next year as we uh as we keep uh making this film so thank you guys very much and we're excited that it starts this week so real quick um Derek just texted me and I'm seeing now that our buddies who run our Discord have set up a channel on our Discord called Auction House. So if you don't have our Discord, Ooh. it's official WKUK. That's our Discord channel. If and you go into the about in our Twitch, there's a yeah, link. Yeah, there's a it. link on our Twitch page on the about to our Discord. And in our Discord, there's a text channel called Auction House. So don't post in there unless you're posting a serious bid. We're going to try. If this gets fucked, if we get trolled and fucked over this week on this, we're just not going to be able to sell shit. But here's the deal. Yeah, we don't, <laughs> guys, we don't have to, we don't have to auction stuff. Yeah. Hey, a lot of sketch cool. groups wouldn't even be on Twitch for you guys. Okay. So we're I being like pretty cool. just laid it up. For us I like that. That's trolled. our angle. It's like, hey, we don't have to ask you guys for money. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here's the item that we're selling this week, right? This is, an, this is a prop. There are four in existence. Three are going to be sold. This is the first one. It is a plate that was for a sketch that was banned. We, we shot it, but we never got to air it. Uh, it is Barack Obama fucking the Statue of Liberty while the ghosts of the Twin Towers cry in the background. It is uh, fucking awesome. It's a real plate. Uh, and we will send it to you. This one was given to me by the art department. It's, it's I'll even a, send in the box that the art department said, happy season four. Cause that's um, important. Cause I did see yes, uh, last week in the chat, a lot of people were like, there's no way that's a fucking real plate. It's real. It's up to 500. Yeah. And so here's how it's going to work by the way. So if you win this, this auction, professor Martha live says 501. I see here's how it's going to go. <laughs> we're not doing PayPal cause people control us and PayPal will refund you the money and cancel the bid. You will Venmo me if you win the auction, and don't Venmo me unless you win. I'll message you, I'll give you my Venmo info. You Venmo me the money, when I see the money come through, the plate is yours and we're gonna send it to you. Cause we just can't trust eBay anymore. So that's how it's gonna go. And someone um, says, if only four were made, who didn't get one? That was me. For some reason, I did not get a Obama plate. JT Manis it's up to it 600. says $600. We're at 600, baby. Boom. When does this end, or do we just? Uh, the, I think at the it? end of tonight's show, we should decide who's who's the highest bidder. Okay. Now, I should also point out, if you were going to buy this on QVC, this would probably cost you two thousand dollars. So this is a steal. Yeah. Just saying. Just yeah. saying. This is yeah. Aside from being memorabilia, if it was just a plate with no TV show attached to it, two thousand dollars. <laughs> Yeah. And the fact that it was used by us actually really lowers the value. Appreciates it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's used. Uh, yeah. Hey, we're uh, gonna do some do, thank yous uh, real quick. For we've got. I, I just want to say something yeah. uh, uh, about the auction. Uh, let's at least go by ten dollar increments. No, no, like one dollaring people. Why? Just because it's like someone bids like like six hundred fifty and someone else bids six fifty one, it's like 
That's the no, market, they, they, market, they, anarchy they, of it. They whoop their ass. Yeah. <laughs> Someone just bet seven hundred and fifty dollars and three cents. Hey, that, I respect it. Seven hundred fifty dollars and four cents. Yeah, dude. Good for you. <laughs> uh, Guard donated five bucks. Has watched Civil War on drugs again. Sam licking Trevor's finger fucking killed me. I agree. That is a good moment in that movie. Mm-hmm. Professor Why'd you do Mark that? Live donated. Don't says I've been watching that. Civil War on repeat. Underrated line: When the Union soldiers ask for demand, Sam goes, "Legalize it," and one of the Union soldiers goes. <laughs> Sure, consider it done. Cactus wasp or good cop, terrible cop tonight. Darren, you got that? All right. Yeah, yeah. Hellcat yeah, that, Kuro uh, donated I think that was, that was Matt McCarthy, right? Matt McCarthy. Yeah, that was Matt McCarthy. Uh, yeah. Hellcat Kuro donated 20 bucks. says, hey, guys, wife wanted to say hi to Darren. Ooh. Oh, hello. <laughs> Send a pic. Hey, hey. <laughs> Freddie McNerney donated oh, oh, five bucks. Weird? says, nice to see the queefster again. <laughs> Trevor, we should talk about the queefster. Who's oh, the Sam, queefster? You didn't watch Newsboys last night, did you? No. Oh, you should have. Okay. What? Well, I revealed, <laughs> revealed something that Zach and I knew about, but uh, it was a practical joke that I was about to play on you. Okay. And then the uh, uh, the the coronavirus uh, happened, and so I got distracted and I never did it. But it really like I was gonna play this joke on you, like basically the day the coronavirus became real. Um, hold on, I'll go find it. Here, you find it. I'll keep reading donuts. Okay. Guard the Bunny donated says, Y'all should do a raffle for some of this stuff. Pores have a fighting chance. That's a good idea. We'll do that. We'll do that. Um, not for the plates, though. It doesn't feel right to sell some plates for a lot of money and then raffle one off. That feels shitty to the people that are buying the plates. We'll Ta- do it for baked beans, cod piece. Yeah. Tazu for you donated 20 bucks says, okay, so either Sam's nut, but if that's TOS, nah, that's not TOS, then Scotty or Bobo the Space Monkey, courtesy of Discord. Also, why is Timmy's basketball code for community service since he invaded the Capitol building? You're going to have to ask him. It's what he wants us to yeah. say. We, we, you know. He's very embarrassed. He sees now that he was just led along. He's like not sure if Q is real or not, which is good. He's, his great awakening is happening now. Uh, Nasty Ports donated 10 bucks. Says, Darren, you always look so swaggy. Where do you get your gear? My gear? Yeah, you know, you got oh, that my... stylish broken lamp behind you, and it's like <laughs> yeah, there's a tarp. This... It's so cool. <laughs> broken dude. shit. Yeah, really awesome stuff. Okay, I got the things. <clears throat> do it. So, uh, Sam, or you got to give me permission to share screen. Uh, I think you do have, yeah, you do. Okay, so uh, this is a joke I was gonna play on Sam and then the coronavirus messed it up, uh, which is I had, I live close to Sam. And so I got these bumper stickers printed up and I was gonna go down in the middle of the night and put these two bumper stickers on the back of Sam's car and see if he would drive around with it or see how long it would take him to notice uh, these bumper stickers. Can this you show them one at a time? No, it's only at once. Um, I, I, it could be. Wait, before you even show me the sticker, <laughs> it could be, it could be any sticker that you'd be putting on my car, and I would be pissed. No, well, no there it is. Here's the, thing. here's the brilliance of it, because I know you, my friend. I had them printed up on magnets, so it would do oh, okay. no damage. Uh, magnet. To the okay. Yeah. Okay. See, I thought ahead. But these were the bu- these were the magnet bumper stickers I was going to put on Sam's car and see how long he would drive around before noticing. Um, there we go. And so one says, <laughs> "Hell yeah, eat pussy. The queefier the better." And then the other one I was going to put on the other side says, "They call me the queefster." <laughs> Is that a, a who reference? I, no, I don't think so. <laughs> like the seeker? They call me the seeker? <laughs> call me the uh. queenster. <laughs> That's great. Oh my so, God. Sam, I have a couple questions. What? I obviously can't do it now because I've, I've revealed it. But, um, A, how long do you think you would have driven around with it uh, and noticed? And, B, would you have been mad or would you thought it was funny? Uh, I mean... I would have been I, I, I would have been mad thinking that they were uh, stickers. 
right. and then figured out it was a magnet and been like, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I think I would have noticed in a day. You you don't look at your bumper you because you park in a garage. I park on the street, so I see my car all the time and have to think about like, oh, did any shit happen to my car? Right. But then also, I think like people will be driving by, honking their horn and being like, "Hell yeah, dude, <laughs> Queenster!" <Queenster! laughs> What's going on? Really? Oh, a hundred percent, a thousand percent. Yes. A bunch oh. of creepy people out there, dude. <laughs> Oh, this guy's the queefster. I gotta go honk my car at my horn at him. Did you ever see that Seinfeld episode where like, he had the ass man license plate and everyone in New York City was like, ass man? Yeah. You would have come home and like told your like fiance, you're like, she's like, how's your day? And you're like, fine. It's just my elbow, my shoulder's sore from all the high fives I've been getting all day. <laughs> what I think would have happened is Amy would have been walking the dog, walked past Sam's car, saw the bumper sticker and been like, oh yeah oh sweet and then like come home and been like stoked and you know queefed in your face about Wait, amy? I'm going amy? Did I say emily? Amy, emily did i say amy i'm looking at trevor right <laughs> yeah. I said it, I yeah i was like yeah trevor yeah like, trevor's wife would have walked past sam's car and be like <laughs> gone home and be like yeah sam is like eating pussy like crazy oh, okay man. you know what guys i gotta, I gotta go sam a high thanks five everybody it's been great hey sam <laughs> But yeah. Sam, what if you if you would have gone to Trevor and then you said, "How long has that shit been on my car?" And Trevor said, "A month." Like, would you be mad? No, I mean, I'd be like, I'd like annoyed. I'd be like, in the, in the month isn't the thing. It's just like the hassle of it, right? But okay, that's what I'm, I'm looking, looking for. I'm looking I at the Discord. For... Everyone's fucking being assholes on the Discord. It's like five fifty, three dollars, forty seven cents, eight dollars. Guys, it's at nine hundred bucks. Don't don't fucking go in the Discord unless unless it's a serious offer. You're fucking it up. We're not gonna be able to do this. Come on. <clears throat> Greedo one eighty seven. That's Mac. what I was aiming I'm gonna start for, though. shaming individual aiming... people. Laszlo Freeman, stop it. Oh, you were aiming to just like to to inconvenience me yes i was aiming that you wouldn't be mad because i don't want to make you mad but i was just i was aiming for you to see it and just be like oh, you know that kind of like annoyed cool me. cool thanks man cool awesome you're mad at a prank that didn't happen i'm mad that like why not put it on zach's car because he knew about it no, but before, why didn't the idea come to you and go like, oh, I should put this on Zach's car? Because he likes he you more cool. and he, it would be a bonding experience, probably. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Why am I getting in the middle of this? No. Yeah, Trevor, what's your problem, dude? No, why? Yeah, why do you got to pick up me? I didn't. Okay. You live closer to me. All right. Tazu, for you, donated five bucks and says, also, I never bid on anything, but here's some cash because you're all upset. Cheer up. We're going to Mars, bitches. He wrote that 16 minutes ago. He's got some clairvoyance there, I think. N Nature Nanual donated 10 bucks says, can we watch Racist Juror? It's my favorite sketch. Hey. Also, Zach, try The Last of Us games. I've, I've played them. I love them. Everyone whines about the second one. Don't listen to them. Love everything you guys do. Keep it up. I agree. Last of Us 2 is amazing. The, we um, hey, that... Uh, I'm not being sensitive. I'm just annoyed that I get picked on like this. All right. So like, yeah, I don't think shit. Being, I don't think you're being overly sensitive. I, I mean, it's just a silly bumper sticker. Why? I don't think that's a bad thing. I think it's one of no, those. Things but the there's a history here. It's not just a silly bumper sticker. There's a history here, and it goes deeper than that. And you know it goes deeper, but. Still, you decide, like, hey, I should do this thing. I didn't do oh, it. No. I didn't make the bumper sticker. No, no. But, I mean, like, I'm just saying. All right. Like, you can go, like, hey, this one thing, if I just do this one thing, you can't be mad at me. But it, it's an accumulation of things, and it's very apparent that there's this accumulation of things. And it's it's just, like, if you do it, it's just kind of, like, it's not fun, you know it. Yeah. Like, but but in, also he didn't do it. He didn't admittedly, do it. Admittedly, 
He it, didn't do but it. He was going to do it, but COVID. He so wasn't like going to do it anyway. Do it, and then he thought it was like a, a, a bad idea. I don't know why Trevor said, but COVID. He decided not to do it. That, that much I, I do know. It wasn't a COVID thing. He decided not to do it. Yeah. And, and I would rather you had not done it. He didn't, didn't do, it. do it. Yeah. So it all worked out. Yeah. So what, what's yeah. the deal? And if I and Timmy lived next to Trevor, he would have picked out of all of us. But you live closest to him. So I think that's why. Pecan and I'll be honest. I'll be honest. I don't know which one is Zach's car. I don't. I can't remember what kind of car Zach has. <laughs> I have no idea. Okay. You know, I drive a banana yellow DeLorean, dude. I've had it for ten <laughs> years. P comment two three five donated ten bucks says first time catching one of these live. Thanks for all the great comedy lately. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> no scoped JFK donated ten bucks says. Pumped to catch the stream live tonight for once. Good luck with your op- auctions. Here's the hoping you guys don't get fucked over again. Thanks, dude. We're, we're Andy gonna get Mack donated over. and says, Would you guys ever do a mystery science theater type thing where you all overdub terrible movies? Why does kids, why does kids style? I would love that. Stoked for Mars. Well, Sam and I were going to do that for what movie? Uh, we're going to do a movie tomorrow. We were oh, talking about tomorrow? <laughs> yeah. I don't know you if, guys I can. if people can still do it. Okay. Uh, for, is, that, uh, is that just you two or, or all of us invited you're everyone's invited yeah we're gonna do a amazon watch stream for uh uh killing american style oh yeah 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 uh, should we put it off a week or people not um i don't know if i can swing it i don't know if i can tomorrow. i'll have to i'll have to figure it with out the morning. misses should um, we, would people want to do it if we put it if we did uh did it a week from now? We can watch a trailer right now. I'm uh, game. Have someone else. I'm game for both. Sam. You know what else? There's one more news thing. Is that uh, I'll Tuesday, put it in the chat. Tuesday, the 22nd, mm-hmm. February 22nd, uh, is the uh, the the season finale of Buckerson and Myers. Series finale. That's true. It's, yeah. Yeah. We uh we filmed we uh we filmed it uh, a couple days ago. It's a very good ending to the first season. Um so uh check it out. It's going to be good. Tuesday. I see uh Griff Daddy just said $1000. Fuck it. Oh, Coon says 1100. God damn. Hey yo. Someone says is Timmy coming tonight? He is. He has yeah. basketball. <clears throat> My God, guys, eleven hundred basketball. Oh, and I think we need to give Derek texted me and said we need to give an exact time for the auction to close so people don't feel fucked over. Mm-hmm. I think that's a good call. Let's say nine o'clock Pacific. Okay. Cool. So it's an hour and a half yeah. from now. Nine at nine o'clock on the nose, auction's done. Rough YouTube says thirteen thirty seven. God damn. It's all happening. Uh so what did everyone do this week? How's uh, how's uh, haven't talked to anybody? I'm good. I built an igloo today. Really? Really? Do you have photos? Yeah. Yeah. I actually I do have a photo. Throw a photo up there, dude. Can I can I share my screen? Yeah. All right. Oh, I had an idea for a game we could play. Um, this might be the dumbest game in the world, but what if what if we were to uh, each of us take thirty seconds and Google like dig around on the internet and each of us find a contender for the worst tattoo that we can find on you the guys internet. see that? Oh, that looks amazing. Oh, cool. Yeah. Nice snow bricks. Yeah, you can walk in through there. Now, through have you ever built in, or is it supposed to have holes in it like that? I don't know. I've never done this before. I, I mean, Darren I was literally Hood. figuring it out as I went. And I was like, I tried to make everything come in closer and it was all sloping and I don't know. I uh, I was I was afraid that like it was all gonna just come in on the kids <laughs> playing in there. They're like 50, 50 pound bricks. Holy shit! You pack that ice up, yeah. Where do you There's get some... all the bricks of ice? No, you just like get a plastic container and just pack it with snow. Oh, I see. 
yeah, just rinse and repeat. It's crazy too, because you don't even have kids, so you're just out there like doing that. Well, it's the neighbor's kids. Right. But you're yeah. not allowed to talk to them anymore, right? I That's why you got to build the igloo. <laughs> you got, <laughs> you got to lure had, them. You can't. Yeah. I had 20 minutes. I had you're 20 like, minutes. technically I, you said I couldn't talk to them. You didn't say I couldn't lure them. Have you watched? Uh, have... I like how you say lure them. <laughs> have you ever built a Quincy? Do you know no. what that is? Mm-mm. You just take take snow and like I, it looks like you're you're out of snow, but if you get if you get another big snowstorm this winter, make a, a six foot dome of snow, just a big pile, and then you stick sticks in it about like six inches deep to like a foot deep and it, give it like an hour and the snow around where the sticks are will crystallize and harden and then you dig out the center of it and it's like a, um, you can like mm-hmm. sleep in it oh that's cool uh, it's called did a, you guys uh, know that Insane Clown Posse uh, uh, put out a new Quincy album? Barry Kuda said yes I have made uh, a Quincy they are cool did you guys hear what I said about Insane Clown Posse? No, what'd you say? They put out a new record this week. Is it awesome? Oh, I have no idea. I haven't listened to it. I just saw someone in chat say it. Is, is it, it good? It's probably Is it great. political? Yeah. It's all about Biden. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about the steel. Yeah. God, I remember how pissed I was. Uh, well, I think we all were, but like uh, when they did the, the that that whole magnets video, magnet song or whatever. Yeah. And and then fucking SNL just like did their version of it as a sketch. So stupid. Oh, like works. it's it's just so terrible. Like why you don't need to do that? It is a sketch. It it is it's a parody of itself. Yeah, it's they like, just did the same thing that they did. And they're like, isn't this funny? It's, it's like, like when someone tells a joke and then someone just tells the same joke and words it different. That's what SNL did. And they're like, they should be a little better than that. You know, you would think it's like, yeah. they're like, here's this, here's it. This is why this is funny. And everyone's like, yeah, we know. We all laughed about that on Tuesday. Yeah. You know, although I did watch an SNL sketch this week, which I never, ever do. But for some reason this week, my YouTube algorithm made me watch this um SNL sketch with Jonah Hill and I was like laughing. It was it was pretty funny. So I don't know. They they can be good. Um, no, do you guys like? Is this an appealing game? If everyone we just take thirty seconds, everyone has to find their candidate for the worst tattoo on earth, and then we all we throw up a poll and see who wins. Okay, is that fun? Sure. All right. Uh, kind of horrible, horrible. Here. here. How long do we have? I don't know. Let's say take ten minutes. I don't. You know, like we'll. Just- All right, ten minutes. While we're doing this, uh, does anyone have any good tattoo stories? You do. I think you've already told uh, your fuck <laughs> Elvis story. Is there any other? <laughs> Darren, you got a you got a tattoo. It's not a good story. Not like you. I don't know. Tell Man, your story. story. You've got good ones. Oh, there was. How about the? We did a show once. Did I tell that one about the Austin show? It's hard to only pick one. There's so many great, fucking terrible tattoos. And don't just search on, worst tattoo. Are you? Well, is that what you guys I'm are doing? Reddit. I mean, how to search. <laughs> uh, oh, I think I found. I think I found one. This is pretty great. I just typed in all your guys' names and then tattoo to see if there's images of any of them online, but none of your guys' tattoos are online. Mine is actually also kind of the best tattoo, so I probably will lose the vote. (laughs) Okay. Um, I feel like this isn't entertaining watching us. No, 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 no. Uh, uh, yeah. I was waiting on Sam to tell a story. So, so uh, we did a show in Austin at um, uh, at this festival, and afterwards we were we're going out to drink with some friends of ours, and I um was getting money out of a, a ATM at a tattoo shop there. 
And while I was getting money out, uh, I turned to the, the guy and I was like, hey, they're, they're like almost closing up. And I was like, hey, how much would it be to get Hakuna Matata tattooed on my ribs? And the guy was like, 75 bucks. And I was like, sure. And then I got it tattooed <laughs> on my ribs and then went and met up with everyone at the bar. And the first person I saw was Todd Barry. And I was like all psyched. And I was like, check it out. And he goes, huh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, like, it sucks it's when the first person that sees your tattoo is Todd Berry. First person that, like, you think Todd Berry's going to be like, awesome, dude. <laughs> yeah. Dude, oh tell God. that story about Todd Berry uh, with the Hillary Clinton on the subway. I'm not Are you allowed to tell that story? No, I'm not supposed to tell it. Oh, what? You got to. Because well, he said to not tell anybody that you had that conversation. Yeah, is no. that why? Yeah. Oh, it's great. <laughs> I tell people all the time, but I'm not going to tell it on stream. Okay. The plate is at 1500 baby. Come on, guys. This, this bad boy's going. It's going hot. And, and just so everyone knows, uh, that guy's a really nice guy. That's yeah, he's, uh, Todd, Todd Barry. Barry. He's, he's yeah, amazing. Yeah. He is really nice. <laughs> We're friends with lots of comedians, but he's actually funny. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, uh. Um, how long do they have to pay after they win before it goes to the next person like 30 seconds like it needs to come right through like we're we're not fucking around here um i am serendipity donated says could you please do commentary on the intervention or home alone sketch love you guys can't wait for mars all right dr poopy balls donated says to trevor and zach my girlfriend and i are curious what came first, Augie the baby or Augie the dog? Was the name a coincidence? <laughs> the name was a coincidence. I adopted Augie the dog, and I went over like the day I adopted him to Trevor's house. I was like, I got a dog. His name's Augie, and Trevor hadn't had his baby yet. And when I said his name's Augie, Trevor's face just like dropped. He was just like, Oh, and I was like, What? He's like, We're, we're probably gonna name my son Augie. <laughs> I was like, well, I'm not changing my dog's name, dude. <laughs> but now it's, it's <laughs> then when we talk on the phone, it's like, how's your Augie? How's oh, your Augie? How's your Augie? Yeah. And when I came to visit LA and I saw you, Trevor, you met my two daughters, Augie and Augie. I know. And you were like, oh, <laughs> fucking no. Not this again. And then, but then you were like, you were offended because you're like, they're like five years old. Like, you don't remember my kid's name. <laughs> <laughs> I got a really bad tattoo of their names right here. Uh, oh, VM90 says, can you move the chat? How am I supposed to bust my goddamn nut when it's in Darren's face? You got it, buddy. Yeah, what, what the what, fuck? What? Sorry about that. This I whole will, time? Unreal. I will definitely move that chat. Let's put it right between me and Sam. There it is. Thanks, Z. Yeah, sorry about that. Jerk off. How All right, you? here you go, buddy. I have a tattoo. You don't have a tattoo. Oh, you found oh. one on the internet. You mean, yeah. yeah. News Boys is number one donated $2.69. It says, you said a few self sucks ago that we would get a banned sketch after hitting a dono thresh, which would roll over. Certainly we've hit it by now. Banned sketch, please, babes. I don't have them with me. All right, there it is. Sikari donated five bucks. Says, y'all should do a talk about boiler room or happier with your mouth open sometime. Also, thanks for starting up streaming. Gives me shit to look forward to after some heavy days of working with over 10,000 volts of electricity. So we'll do a band sketch next time because uh, I, I just didn't bring the hard drive with me. Is that guy an executioner? Yeah. <laughs> M Wood four fifty uh, donated mm -hmm. says, "There's totally an eBay employee watching the Discord auction and saying it's not so easy, is it, fuckers? Well, that guy can fuck <laughs> suck a dick." That's all the people that are in the Discord right now are eBay employees. Yeah, like, like hey, let's fuck dicks. with them. Yeah. <clears throat> I was gonna say we have a bunch of sketches building up, so I don't know if we want to bust into one of those. Yeah. Or yeah. Um, well, so we want to do this tattoo thing. Sandwich yet, which would be a great one to watch. Some reason. Oh yeah. Let's let's show thing. our tattoos. You guys got them ready? Yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. Get this uh, done. I'm still trying to get mine. Oh fuck. But you guys, you guys go. Mine will be ready. Mine is probably a TOS though because of where it's located on the picture that of the person, the picture right there. Yeah, who cares? Just do it. Uh, 
But, but I only searched for vaginal tattoos. That's cool. Is it the Homer Simpson <laughs> one? Because that one's awesome. Should I Did do we mine? Ever do Are you the, gonna go? The... Trevor, you going? Am I go first? Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah. Here we go. All right, pay attention, people. We're gonna do a vote. This one I actually think is kind of funny, though. Mine's kind of funny too. But it's bad. It's a bad tattoo, but it's funny. And there we go. Oh my God, Trevor, are you fucking kidding me? The the same one? Let me go next. Let me go next. It's the family guy with a little uh, nipple bit. <laughs> that is awesome. That is awesome. Dude. I love it. Dude, there's going to be a theme here. I have a feeling. We're, soul, we're, we're soulmates, Trevor. Here we go. Ready? The same one? Look, at the, look at the Discord for mine. I'm not going to share. I'm just going to do a... Uh, thing here in a look at the discord oh or, yeah yeah look at the discord sorry guys let me know when you see it i don't have the discord yeah i gotta wait for it to start up and up all right I'll, all right i'll do a screen share hang on hang on hey <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Those, those two guys would be best friends. They should they definitely need to get to know each other. Yeah. Yeah, man. Well, mine doesn't have uh the the, the nipple thing, but it's in the, the cartoon realm. Bad tattoo. Is that That's Bart Simpson as a baby? I guess. I don't or know. Like yeah, I don't know. <laughs> this thing's terrible. <laughs> All right, Sam. Moment All right. Give me, give me one second. Just one second, and uh, it's, I, it, it was hard for me to find a good picture of this, but okay, I think this will work. Uh, let's see. Well, I went to um, like in 1999. I went to spring break, um, and uh, down in um, uh, Myrtle Beach. And mm -hmm. it was the summer that that Jay Z song "Big Pimpin" was out, uh -huh. and everybody just walking down that main strip, like everybody had big pimpin tattoos. Like oh they were all God. like the song was just out; it was playing everywhere, and like people were getting it left and right at spring break. And every now and then, I whenever I hear that song, I think about this now that it's like there's people out there with 22 year old big pimpin tattoos, and I wonder if they're lasered off, if they're still like no, it's fucking. The song's awesome. <laughs> or if okay, they... wait. All right, you guys ready? Yeah, we're ready. Yeah. All right, all right. Is that is? You know what? I think I have a better picture of the full thing. Wait, what hold on. What the fuck is this? Hold on. You that? Wait, I have a better picture of the okay, full cool. the wide. That was garbage. Because I, because I couldn't even. I have, tell I have the was. wide. Yeah, you couldn't. All right, so there's the wide. Is that Jonah Hill? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 oh boy all right start uh, a zing yeah. <laughs> uh, the funny thing about Jonah Hill though <laughs> is that um like he got he had no tattoos yeah yeah and then he got to be like 35 and then he started getting sleeves and like stuff like you know there's a cutoff for when you can start getting tattoos like even if I saw a tattoo that I was like I would like to get that tattoo. It's too late for me to start. You can't start having tattoos at 40. Like, you can, yeah. if you have some, you can continue getting them. But you can't be like, here's my first tattoo as a middle-aged man. He also, he has that, um, the mustache, which is very dumb. I remember uh, I saw that, an interview the... with him talking about it. It's like, it's like, no, I just wanted to be who I am. Like, this is, this is the real me. It's like, no. Well, it's not. <laughs> no, the real you is you with no tattoos. Yeah. But whatever. Who cares? It's the fat the fat kid from Superbad. That's the real you. That's <laughs> oh. the you we all fell in love with. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Love that Jonah Hill. Dunkin' on Jonah Hill. Cream Wizard he donated five bucks. Very I prefer good. the new long form comedy. Plus I love how Darren looks like a blues clues narrator now. Thank you. Jonah Hill was very good in Thirty Year Old Virgin. Yeah. Yeah. Did you say 30-year-old virgin? Or 40-year-old uh, virgin? Yeah, I was like, yeah. was that the joke? 
Garden the rainbow <laughs> skates, right? The yeah, rainbow the rainbow skates. Sk- or yeah, the yeah. platform. Oh, yeah, roller skates. Yeah. Golden. Literally, yeah. Glitter. What has Jonah Hill yeah. not like, been very these, good these at? Marvelous. He's, he's great at every everything. He's, he's, he's everything he's, except yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. Bad tattoos. He messed up on the tattoo part. Great and what is walking. what is the tattoo that's on his chest? What what is that? It's it lo- it looks like a I think it's like a Japanese temple with I think it's yeah it's like a Japanese temple with like two dragons or maybe they're panthers on both sides. Oh wait no no it's a schooner it's a schooner. We got a poll going for who has the worst in tattoo. General, I don't think so. Yeah, like who won the who won the competition is what the poll is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sam, Sam won. I guess. Sam, it's over. Yep. Fuck. Guard, he won by a lot. <clears throat> Guard the bunny donated says I'm two weeks out from graduating tattoo school, so this bit is pure heroin to me. Every, <laughs> every night fireworks donated twenty five bucks said I would love to see you guys watch Family Auto Dealership sketch tonight. I think we did that one already. Oh, didn't we? That. that Sorry, was like buddy. the first one we did. I yeah. Think. You have to go back and uh, if you subscribe, if you uh, subscribe to the whitest kids VOD or whatever it's called on our YouTube channel, you've got all of these old episodes on there and we've gone through <laughs> many. So wade through hours and hours of us talking about other stuff and you'll find that now we need to put it up on our other YouTube. Fortnite tonight says there's a great video of Jonah Hill being made fun of. Y'all should watch that and maybe learn some empathy. Oh, in the, in the, the French interview. It, yeah, it's a, it's like a classic. This this uh, this interview lady is really mean to him, where she's like, it's when he's doing that movie with like Brad Pitt, Moneyball. Moneyball. I don't mm-hmm. know, but like um, she's like she's like uh, she's some French lady, and she's like kind of a dick, and uh, she's interviewing him, and right there to his face, and she's like, uh, uh, she goes, she goes, I had um, a fantasy about you and Brad Pitt, and he's like, okay, and he's and she's like. Yeah, it's like you and Brad Pitt are there, and then uh, you leave. <laughs> <laughs> that was her joke or whatever like that. And he doesn't know what to do. He's just like, he's being interviewed. He's like, okay, like, you know, and like you could tell he's pissed off for the rest of the interview. Why would I even mean, sit through the rest of the interview? I'd be like, I'm done talking to you. Yeah. People, people are saying it's fake. Oh really? Oh yeah. Oh, okay. That's some some people are saying that. I don't know. I haven't seen it. I... Uh-huh. Well, I've I'm, I've got it saved. I'm gonna watch it later. I never really saw it. Me. Tricked me. I'm good at I'm good at spot oh. fakes. I'll let I'll let everybody know. And someone <laughs> someone called me fake. I'm I'm just reading the chat. Uh, Mark donated again. I moved the chat. Mark, God. Farts as well as poop and such donated five bucks as paper plate versions of the 9-11 plate would be fun. I'm sure. T.R. Taylor donated or T.R. Tat Taylor donated, whatever. He says, I'm a millennial, but I don't need ass. I need guidance. Please help. You're fine, dude. Don't worry about it. That's yeah. like punk rock, though, for millennials now. It's like not eating ass. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. John Foster donated 10 bucks. says, had to wait in line for three hours to get my Pokemon cards, <clears throat> and Civil War on Drugs kept me entertained while I waited, so thank you. Also, why did Hyphen want the Changeling to change into a half-fish creature when he claimed interspecies was a, sight, was a slight against God? Oh. Uh, did Hyphen want her to change into the fish, or did she just... I did. can't even remember. He did. I think he did for a little bit. He yeah, just wanted deep. to see it. I, I, Hyphen wow. fucked up. I don't know. Kubla donated 50 oh, well, bucks and says, would you guys comment on the Grapist? No? Okay, never mind. 50 bucks for the Grapist. What do you say, Sam? Should we, should we save it for, for later? We, were gonna, we should probably wait for Timmy for that one. Later so, sometime. We'll I don't later. want to do it right now. All right. We have quite a list built up. Hyphen uses hate to disguise his fetish? Good Lord. Maybe he does. Hyphen is a very hateful character. And boy, does he get his comeuppance in this episode. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And uh, I'm, I've been asked by Derek to say, get Venmo. Yeah, to, to remind anyone bidding on the thing, you have to have Venmo installed. So if you don't have it installed, install that shit. Um, oh, my God. Are we at 1,700? Holy wow. Shit. Oh, we tried to get on the front page today, and uh, Twitch said no. Guy didn't get back to me. 
Yeah. Oh. Why? It might have been because of all the butthole shenanigans the last time. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only time. Because when we when we became <laughs> partners, they were like, "Oh, we're gonna let you guys on the front page like every couple of weeks. You just send us an email, we'll put you on." And then they, they let us on once, and we just talked about buttholes for the whole hour. And <laughs> buttholes and then uh they've never let us on again i would love it if they did write us back and they were like you guys did all that butthole shenanigans that one time yeah, i let we, you on i wish we could have I mean, that we writing. should at least know what where the line is you know well no one talks yeah. to us we can't know where the line is if we, no one we tells thought us you guys wanted us to do the butthole thing yeah would they expect us to read that whole big thing that's the terms of service All I know about the terms of service is stuff that Chad has told us. Uh, who's yeah. going to pull up a vid video? Are we watching a oh, video? Oh, Darren, now? will you do it? Uh, I, yeah. I feel like I've screwed it up last time. All right, well, I, 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 I can do it if I have to. Uh, we have Cactus Wasp, Sam's Nut, Earn This, Bad at War, Skate. Never mind, not Skateball. Uh, Timmy, oh, well, I would say do the, the earn this thing, but we should wait for Timmy for that one. Yeah, yeah. All right, so which one are we doing then? Cactus Wasp? You want to do that one? Cactus Wasp? Oh, my God. Cactus Wasp? I feel like I watched this one. I I said this last time. And it, it, I, I, I don't remember liking it that much when we were shooting it, but I watched it later, a couple years later, and I was like, oh, that, that is actually kind of funny. What episode is that in? Did I? It doesn't come up when you search WKK Cactus Wasp. Um, is it four three? I got a game we can play. What's that? Right, I got a. You talk about like abortion or something like that. Maybe it's called that. Oh hell yeah! Nug Caleb is pooping. Someone says they're probably scared of their name during Black History Month. That could be true. That could be true. That could be true. <laughs> Somebody wrote in here, Ben Aconda wrote, Timmy's busting threes. <laughs> the three-point line. <laughs> Just sitting there nailing them, man. <laughs> Wouldn't that be amazing? Like, like he, he doesn't tell us, but he's got this whole other life in South Dakota, and everyone's going nuts in the stands, and, like, Timmy's doing trick shots, and he's like, Kobe! And he's, like, throwing it and, like, swishing and stuff. He's Teen Wolf. <laughs> uh, uh, it's season five, episode nine. Season five, episode nine? Yeah. Uh, that means it's real bad. Episode nine is when <laughs> we always front load our, our favorite shit at the front of the season. Yeah. We're scrambling there. <laughs> oh my god. Guys, I don't I don't even see season five episode nine on YouTube. Brutal. It's gonna be called something else. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna look for it. We're All right, should we right do now. another sketch? Different this is the best self suck we've ever had. Uh, uh, Bobo Space Monkey. Uh, yeah, why are we on the front page? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Bobo. 10,000 people could be watching us doing this. All right, let's do Bobo the Monkey. How about that? Okay. There's a lot of people from South Dakota in this chat that's saying Timmy is a, a legend in South Dakota. <laughs> I believe that. Yeah. Yeah, you're Some people are saying that Timmy goes hard in the paint. Hang on now, I gotta do a little, little, little business here. There we go. Okay, everybody, gather around. Yes, gather sir. around. I'd like to take a moment and congratulate each and every one of you on a successful mission. By putting a living animal into space, we've taken a huge first step in beating the Ruskies to the moon. I'd also like to take a moment and remember our brave test pilot, Bobo the monkey. Bobo was an exceptional monkey, and I know that many of us here began to regard him as not just an animal, but as an associate. To Bobo. Here, here, here. Now, as you know, we don't have enough fuel to safely bring Bobo back to Earth. But I want everyone to rest assured 
that Bobo's sacrifice to this great nation will go down in the annals of history and he will truly never be forgotten. Oh. 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 Um. Oh. It's Bobo. Um. He must have accidentally turned on the monitor. Uh. I'm sorry. I got this, guys. Uh. Hi, Bobo. Yeah. Uh. Good to see you. Uh. Hey. Good job with that mission there. That was really. Okay. Um. I'm sorry about that. Look, I, I know this is very hard on everybody, but if anything, it's, it's a testament to how intelligent Bobo really was that he figured out how to use our communications monitors. Bobo. Aww. Okay, you know what? I, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, Bobo, uh, can we do something about can we kill Bobo's monitor? Aww. Uh, you know what? Everyone, turn around. Turn around. Don't. Don't look at him. Don't encourage him. Everybody turn around. Turn around. He's hungry. No, no, he's not hungry. He's he's just that sign language for goodbye. I'm fine up here in space. Don't worry about me. Okay, can we kill his feet? Oh, oh. Oh. Okay, look, everyone, this is not helping. Oh my god. A big box of apples for you too, buddy. What? What does that mean? It's just this inside joke that me and him had. Come on, there's got to be a way we can get him back here. Yeah, Bobo would do the same for us. Us scientist types got to stick together. Yeah. Bobo! <laughs> okay, okay. You know what? I'll try to crunch some numbers and think of a way to get Bobo back to Earth. Oh, oh thank you. What? But I am not happy about having to work late on a Friday to do this. You're the oh, best. Yes. You'll regret this, sir. Get out of here. Go on. Enjoy your weekend. Everybody get out of here. That was pretty manipulative there, Bobo. I'm just resetting your coordinates. Have fun on the sun, Bobo. Bobo? There's a mom. To be back home with a box of apples for everyone. <laughs> Bobo the monkey. Wow. Bobo the monkey. I think we were we were excited about this song the most. Yeah, I, I was. I, that was one of those sketches where, like, every now and then, a sketch I get like fixated on one small thing, and so at, like throughout the season, I'd be like, "When do we do the song for that? When do we do like you know?" But I was bummed because it cuts off on the YouTube clip. Because uh, there's a monkey who's headed for the sun. He'd like to be at home with a box of apples for everyone. And then it goes, and the people say, and that's when it hangs up. And that's when it uh, cuts off. But they cut it off before. <laughs> no. eh. It's it's funny because it's one of those songs where you can hear it like clearly go down from what the, the song we're trying to copy. Yeah. Where it's like, we wanted it to be like Starman, where it's there's a monkey head if all this, but it's there's a monkey, or I can't even do it. But it, monkey. it goes down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Goes that's down. why it's so fun to cut off, and that people say, because that's like just a straight from Starman. Yeah. Everyone in the chat is saying that Space Force ripped us off for that. That they did. They fucking stole it. They fucking stole it. <laughs> you motherfuckers. I don't know what space, space force? force is. That's like an aqua. No idea. Team. No, I think it was, a, it was like a show on Netflix or whatever. Oh, like, like the really Steve Carell thing. Out. Nobody right? talked about it, and then it was gone. Yeah. Mm. I bet oh, they didn't yeah. rip us off. I bet it was just a coincidence. Yeah. That's um, like everything. I feel like these days, it's just like something comes out and it's gone. It's like literally a day. Yeah. The Bobo sketch or, is one of those sketches. Or is it sketches, just that I'm old? The Bobo sketch is one of those things where it's just like, it's just like the cruelty is the joke. You know what I mean? Like this sketch is a cruel sketch about like a sweet monkey that's like going to die and, and people are sad. Like that's. Yeah. It, it's one of those things where it's like, it, it, you know, it's based on a real practice about like, you know, these, and it's like, well, let's like. Yeah, well, let, let let's let's do that and have it be like, like really like make it as like, like 
tug at the heartstrings and make it as sympathetic as possible on the other side, you know, like really make it hard for those people doing that cruel thing. Yeah. yeah. Well, cruelty was our brand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just a um, step below hate, really. <laughs> <laughs> who was Bobo? People uh, keep asking who played Bobo. I, I have no that idea. That's Trevor. What? That's Zach. That's Zach? Oh, I was Bobo? Uh, the Bobo, I, I could, the Bobo <laughs> voice is Zach. I feel yeah. I feel was like I know, but in the costume. I think that was Zach too. I think it was me actually. Yeah, that sounds right. Okay. Um. This this actually like I, I would I think like one of the 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 inspirations for this. I don't know if people had seen this Matthew Broderick movie, but uh, uh, Project X was this movie about. Do you guys remember that? No. It was it, Matthew Broderick was a test pilot, and he was working with a program where they the military was training monkeys to be like they were doing experiments on monkeys, and he frees the monkeys, and it's like uh, this real like like tugging at your heartstrings kind of thing of like the scientists killing monkeys, and uh, I never yeah, thought I that like... was the inspiration for this. I thought the inspiration for this was. Uh, it was because when we would tour around, remember when we had that big tour bus? Mm -hmm. And we would stop at gas stations and we would get Buddies movies because Air Bud had all these spinoffs called the Buddies. And there was one called Space Buddies where all the little puppies get on a spaceship by accident and then they all find out they go up to space. And full disclosure, I never watched the movie sober. Like we were always like super drunk and high on a tour bus watching it. And I missed a lot of parts. But there's a villain in it, from what I remember, that at one point, everyone leaves and he goes to the dials and he sends the buddies in the spaceship towards the sun, <laughs> you know? And then uh, everybody's like, oh no. And I remember watching this movie so many times and being like, what is this bad guy's motive? Like it, there was like no motive to it. It was like, at least Cruella DeVille wanted to make a coat. This guy's just like, I hate dogs in space. And yeah. he was just trying to kill him. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing to me how often the Air Buds movies are mentioned on this stream. It was our biggest inspiration. Yeah. yeah. They were our music. They're, <clears throat> they're not my favorite dog movie series, though. Those, uh, the, the one, I don't know the, the other movies. I can't remember the other movies he's made, but if anybody gets a chance to watch uh, the Easter Bunny Puppy movie, oh, yeah. that's like literally the name of the movie. And it's it's amazing like watch it from beginning to end it's like a guy who directed uh he had a short film really but he turned it into like 50 minutes with all this filler it's so bad this one actress she gets laryngitis in the beginning filming of it and just throughout the film every time she comes into a scene by the time he gets to the end she's like hello how are you doing but in the beginning is that the one where eric roberts is a voice yes yeah, Eric Roberts is a voice in this movie, and he's obviously like, he won't say no to anything. So he'll he'll do he'll do your movie. We could get him in Mars. We should get him. In oh, Mars. I know a dude who made a movie last year for no money, and Eric Roberts is in it. We should get Eric Roberts to do one line in Mars, just for. Apparently, fun. he's a fucking asshole. Well, so he shows up in the Easter Bunny puppy movie, and you can tell he doesn't even get close to the microphone. Like he's sitting down, he's, all his lines sound like he's lying down on a sofa on the other end of the room. Like, yeah, totally. There's like all this like, space between the mic and. Yeah, and he yeah. self taped in his iPhone and just sent it in. <laughs> I like yeah. how you're like, my, my friend had Eric Roberts in this thing for like no money. Apparently he's an ass. Yeah, he's, he's not getting paid. He's probably miserable. He's probably like, don't do the movie. Well, I'm out don't here for movie. this. And then like Jessica, his sister's calling him all the time and being like, I just like ate diamonds for lunch. And Did he's you say like, Jessica, oh, like searching for the name Julia Roberts? Yeah, Julia Roberts called him <laughs> oh at lunch. Jessica Roberts. <laughs> hey, that big star, Jessica Roberts. <laughs> Jessica Rabbit? You know, what is it? I got it. I'm close. <laughs> Red hair, sparkly Julie? dress. <laughs> um... Oh, so somebody yes. said bring up the Space Force monkey scene. So I, I was just scrolling through it, and it looks very similar. So why don't we watch this? Okay. Apparently, okay. It's, it's a lot like our thing here. So hang, let me share the screen. <laughs> Hold on. I got to do all this business here. 
Here we go. All right, you guys watching this? Yeah. <laughs> it's different already. There's a dog in it. Hang on. <laughs> that is cute, though. Marcus. Marcus. Here, Marcus. Up here. Oh, Jesus, he misses his children. No, no, in nature, chimps eat baby monkeys whenever they can get their hands on them. Google it. Tell Marcus we will get him baby monkey. But first, he has to do something for us, something for his country. Help Space Force. Get banana. No, smell banana, wear banana. They're monkey banana costumes. there. Special banana. Frozen banana. Mmm, banana. Bored, hungry, horny. Tell him I know bored. Sorry, hungry. Horny, bad. There, there, look at, he did it. He did it, he's ready for a spacewalk. God damn it, I love this fucking chip. Okay, miss it. Okay, dead. Go, now go, he's there. Go, 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 press it, press it. Yeah, yeah! Okay, now we're talking. All right, good. Dr. Mallory, just in time to see a Space Force hero kicking ass at the scene. Both Finn and Drill, Finn and Drill. All right, no, don't, what do you, no, 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 Marcus, don't hit that. Bad Marcus, don't do that. There we go, all right, all right. Wait, Marcus, stop. Oh, wait, oh. whoa, 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 oh, should he t Release, release. Oh. If they play a David yeah. Bowie song right now, oh, I'm gonna Lord freak out. God. What is that? I believe that Marcus, at some point in the last two weeks, must have eaten Theodore. Seriously? Don't! Do not go with them! Marcus, they are there! You're not doing it! Oh, 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 we get you. it. We done? Dog eating bastard! I think so. Alright. That wasn't a ripoff at all. Yeah. Mm. Didn't. Oh well. Get it. Really. They're At off first, the hook. I yeah, was it didn't like, really hey. it didn't really entertain me. <laughs> yeah. They had a good monkey cool outfit. That was good monkey. Cool. I like that they had uh, John Malkovich in it. That was cool. Yeah. 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 Um uh, they didn't steal it. That just bummed everybody out. Everyone's just like, yeah. Yeah. Look well, looked okay. I don't know. Thanks a lot, guys. <laughs> Uh, what else? Should we watch another sketch? What are we doing? Yeah, Timmy texted, by the way. He says he'll be here in 20 minutes. But he texted that All like right. 15 minutes ago, so he'll probably be here any second. Oh. Dude, he's busting threes. It's <laughs> one of those games, you know? Do you think there's any... Can you imagine in your mind's eye Timmy shooting a basket and not doing it granny style? Oh, like between the legs? Yeah, not doing it like that, like him actually shooting a overhand. I think he basket. shoots like we shot baskets when we were like in fifth grade, like this, with both hands and just like yeah, you push that. it as hard as you can. Yeah, yeah. We'll ask him when he gets here. Yeah, Professor Marth Live donated five bucks. Says also, my roommate wanted me to let you guys know Trevor's dominatrix character confused her sexually, but she's a straight girl, so I don't really get that. Okay. Founding Fondlers donated five bucks says, can we see Cactus Wasp? Although it's blocked on YouTube in the US, so use a VPN or Trevor's hard drive. Good Lord. Cream Wizard donated five bucks says, how do you guys feel about million dollar extreme world peace? Uh, I like some of their sketches. I haven't seen a whole lot. Um, you know what I like? I like that one where um, uh, 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 they go, they do that TED talk in front of uh have you seen that one no um mm -mm. there's one they do a ted talk in front of uh like a school and it's just like nonsense and uh, i thought that was pretty funny i haven't seen it uh 
I don't even like to talk about them because I, I, I don't know. John Foster donated 10 bucks, said, really surprised that you guys walked through my last donation comment without waiting in line for three hours for Pokemon cards like it's normal. Also, my roommate is trying to be a voice actor. Any extra parts he can try for to put on his resume? Mm, no. All right. Um, what reaction are we supposed to have? Hours for you waited in cards. line for three hours for Pokemon cards? You must fucking love Pokemon, dude. Hell yeah. <laughs> we got a Pokemon. Oh my head god. Here. I just, I just don't get it. Don't get Pokemon? I don't either. I don't, well, I, no, I no, do no, not yeah, understand the anything about But, it. like, if it, I just, like, completely don't get, like, what you're waiting for, like, a rare card or... Yeah, because, like, I think there's a rare card that, you know, you can grab and it's, like, 50K if it's in your pack. It's like, remember how, the, you, know, you know how you collect Beanie Babies? It's like that. Yeah. Yeah, you should. You of all people but should get it, if, man. But if I'm collecting Beanie Babies, they're releasing like a single Beanie Baby. Is he buying a single card or is he buying packs of cards? Probably packs. How I many Beanie get. Babies do you have in your storage unit, Sam? A, a billion. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. I remember when that was going down. There was like all the news would talk about it. Like local news would be like. It's the new gold rush or whatever. And they just show the dumbest people from your town. Like all around the world, they were just showing the dumbest people from every town. They're like, this is going to be my retirement. And you're like, see this one? Like his paw, it's got a blue mark. That's not supposed to be that way. So that means like, you know, like. There, a friend of mine found a VHS tape that was like, how to collect Beanie Babies. And it was this whole VHS tape that was like explaining like, if you see this on the tag, that means it's a rare Beanie Baby. <laughs> and it's like enough information for a pamphlet, but it's like a 40 minute video. Oh it's my like, God. That's crazy. Save this to, to save money for your retirement. Don't worry about it because there's a good chance you're going to get your head stuck in your garage door before you hit 65. <laughs> you fucking idiots. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm liable to ask for my money back for this video. <laughs> what? <laughs> they, I think they have a service. They have a service I'm online paid, where paid you can- dollars for this video. You buy the pack online and like the person opens the pack like carefully the Pokemon cards and they like slowly show card by card and you're just, and it's your pack if you like won the auction and then, yeah, they're just like hoping to get like a $50,000 whatever card to be in that pack. It's pretty crazy shit. And what's, did any of you guys, what's the most that? you've ever spent on a Pokemon card? Oh, that's my favorite line from no country and old men. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You've ever no spent country and old men. <laughs> <laughs> Old men with all the country. He opens up a pack of Pokemon cards. He goes, <laughs> and he goes, oh, about fifty dollars. He goes, fifty dollars. <laughs> uh, uh, Nick Monalds donated five bucks. Says, please do the piss fucker sketch. It's my absolute favorite. What? What is that? Uh, JJ Marvin. We did. We did JJ Marvin already. Yeah. Piss fucker? Uh, piss fucker? I don't know what that one is. Well, it sounds like it's one of ours, so. <laughs> Did you guys, uh, Maybe you can't guy move your leg? Huh? Yeah, that's one where Darren plays that guy that fucks all that piss. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We all piss on the ground, and then you just get naked and just fuck the ground? That's that's oh, the new way yeah. to troll us, is suggest sketches that sound like Whitey Skid sketches. We um, pretend well, that's we how did. we wrote all of our sketches. <laughs> did you guys ever... Can, can you guys play uh, Fuck Doctor? Play Fuck Doctor. Oh, yeah, that doctor that just can't stop he fucking everything. <laughs> Super Scott just donated 50 bucks. Thanks, buddy. You mensch. Uh, Army I've... Hammer donated <laughs> 5 bucks and says, which one of you tastes the best? Probably didn't. Army Hammer? Army Hammer. Gotta be Sam. Oh. Wow. Meadows Hands donated three bucks and says, since Civil War on Drugs came out, can we watch a Doug scene? I actually think that's a really good idea. I'll write a Doug scene on here. We, 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 we could watch, watch the Doug scene at the campfire. 
campfire scene. Yeah. Should I do that? Is it separated that way? Let's see if I can find it. Um, I was gonna say, talking about Pokemons and um, stuff. Like, did you guys ever collect anything as a kid? GI Joe's. Comic books. GI Joe's. No. All right. Never mind. That was a dead end. Continue on. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> What'd you collect? What'd you collect? Um, well, I mean, I had a lot of Star Wars toys, but I don't know that I collected them. I mean, like, was there anything that you were like, I thought I tried different collections because all my friends got into baseball cards and I was like, oh, I'll get into baseball cards, but I didn't watch baseball. So it was like, I didn't know what I was fucking doing. I was like, oh, look, this guy looks cool. And they're like, yeah, you know, like, uh, and then I, uh, I, oh, I collected Hardy Boy books when I was a real little kid. Mm -hmm. I tried to read all the Hardy Boy books in order. Oh, yeah, I read a shit ton of those. Yeah. And they're all the same book. It always ends with, I forget their names. It was like Joe and Matt or something like that. And all they would do is like give uppercuts. Every, every like book ended with like Joe Hardy gives an uppercut to the bad guy. Like, you know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they always solve their problems with violence. Yeah, they did. MB the Ripper donated five bucks and says, to be fair, some Pokemon cards are worth over $10,000. It wasn't as popular until Twitch streamers went crazy with it. Anyway, I just want to thank you for being 80% of my pop culture references in junior high. You guys are great. Thanks, buddy. Thanks. All right, 10,000. Sure. Well, yeah, like Pokemon actually is valuable, right? But Beanie Babies, that was a, that was a, that was a bubble. <clears throat> Should we buy a pack of Pokemon cards and next week open them on stream one by one? So yes. Spend all of the, the, the money that people have donated on Pokemon cards and see if we can. Oh, fuck. Hang on. Derek. So I'm looking at the auction right now. Derek just found out if you don't have a Venmo account previously and you just signed up, the transfer limit is $300. So don't bid if you've just signed up. We'll hopefully be a little more prepared next time. Well, that fucking sucks. Well, that's muddy. Uh oh! It, did the person did it did the did it w close yet? The f no the no play? it closes at nine. Okay. Can they just keep sending three hundred bucks until it? I think the leader <laughs> right now is Snorkel Steve with seventeen fifty. So Snorkel Steve, if you are an older, if you just subscribed with Venmo, we have a problem. But if you didn't, you're good. How, what's the what's it at right now? And if the top doesn't end up paying, we're gonna go down the line. So don't stop. You know, keep. Don't, don't log off if you're not top. Oh, top someone says they could donate through Twitch. No, no. If you, well, you can, but, but the problem, people can punk Twitch. So if they donate through Twitch, PayPal has a, like, satisfaction guarantee. So people can donate on Twitch and then tomorrow complain to ah. PayPal and get their donation pulled. So Somebody says, whitest kids auction eats another shit biscuit. I know, right? It's a good way to put it. Oh, I, oh so I have Schwartz is at the top right now. Schwartz is, is our, our leader. Okay. I have another update. What's that? Can I do that? What's up? So, um, we're going to do a, uh, in, the, in like three weeks or something, we're all going to do a, a Reddit AMA. Um, oh, cool. For like a couple hours. Like, you know, we've never done, I've done a Reddit AMA. Uh, I've done a Reddit AMA. Has anyone else done one? No. No. How, how does it I think, work? I think I have. Kind of fun. Well, uh, you, you, you and I did one with uh, our talk show yeah yeah so but here's the thing this is, shouldn't be surprising uh none of us know how to do a reddit ama like we know how to answer the questions but we don't know how to set it up so i don't know if any of the people that work for our twitch have ever done that or know how to do it but uh we need uh if anybody has ideas of how to go about getting it on the calendar if you'd let us know we're uh not good at things but we're gonna do it in about three weeks to try to you know <laughs> Raise awareness of the movie, raise awareness of the Twitch channel, raise awareness of the YouTube channel, Civil War, all those things. I thought you were like, you were like, oh, here, here's Timmy. No. Someone says they don't know how a fucking Zoom call works. Um, <laughs> yeah, but guys, <laughs> hey guys. Hey guys. What's up, dude? Hey, I'm here. I did Oof. it. What a, what a goofy shirt. I know. I've had this for how years. I found it in the bottom of my room. How off brand. <laughs> <laughs> D 
Timmy, uh, were you Timmy dropping threes all night? Shirts. What's up, babe? Were you were you were you banging out threes all night? What's what's the yeah. verbiage, Darren? Dude, yeah, banging busting threes. Busting threes. Busting threes. Bustin threes. Yeah. It's yeah. cool because in South Dakota you're allowed to do the granny shot, you know, where like this one, you know, so you can do that one. Nailed it, Trevor. Well, you're allowed to Trevor do that in the NBA too. Nailed it. What? You're allowed to do that in the NBA too. Just wait, are you really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Why wouldn't? Yeah. Why wouldn't you? <laughs> no <laughs> granny shot. Doesn't it seem illegal? Granny shot it. That way, because I, I think there to... might even be some player that there is. Like, I've seen like a player, one do player it in the, in the league that does it that way. Yeah. So it's a thing. So, so what you guys are saying is I have a shot. You're telling me I got a shot. That is not what we're saying. <laughs> I mean, there's a chance. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah. So, how's it going, what fellas? Is... I, I checked in for a little bit, but I was pretty busy over there. I would love to I see guess... like a team give you a chance to do it. I That'd think they great. should. They yeah, should let yeah. the they should let the radio producer, broadcaster, technician people like do a game, right? Where we all have to play each other. Yeah. It's like I like could probably do it right because most of them are just old, huh? It'd be like a sad Rudy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like when will it just someone in their misery? Yeah. It'd be like they'd be like Timmy, Timmy, and then you like shoot, and it like goes so far wide that like no everyone just ignores eye contact with you for the rest of the thing as you walk out to your car like no one puts you on their shoulders they're just yeah they're just like all right cool well, you, here's your, you know here's what's your crazy ranch coupon for participating <laughs> sounds like a really good happened? art film i would love it let's do it do you know what happened last year uh and, and i might screw this up but like the covid pandemic happened last year yes yes the covid okay. pandemic but in in hockey you need like you need three goalies and so uh that like if you if one of your goalies can't be on the roster you need a backup goalie and a lot of times they will like just put someone in that spot and there was this game where the zamboni driver ended up having to play goalie for the away team (laughs) like this is just a zamboni driver played goalie against the team he's contracted to 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 uh, Zamboni uh work for. for yeah zamboni's a verb right that's crazy how do you uh, do i think he, he he won yeah he he saves shots he like what dude that has to be how like feel... easy hockey is <laughs> i love yeah what i, I mean I, 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 I am getting that wrong but ch- someone in chat clear that up what happened okay I was gonna say Trevor has this amazing power to turn heartwarming stories into just assholery. <laughs> no, if I've been watching hockey my whole life and like you know making sure that I was home and DVR and games and everything, and then some fucking Zamboni driver like gets out there and does fine, I would just be like, I'd be like, cut this off, turn it off, <laughs> my fucking life. This isn't real. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. So, did you guys auction something? I saw we're auctioning the plate, an Obama plate. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Still happening on Discord. Okay, cool. And Venmo. Cool. And it's not going well. (laughs) Yeah, we're fucking it up. Really? Okay. (laughs) Well, if it makes feeling better, me being here wouldn't have helped. I don't know how any of that works. So we didn't think it would. Yeah, I didn't think you thought that either. What else have you been doing? I saw you watch Bobo. Yeah, we watched Bobo. And then we watched a um Well Space we'll just tell you later. It's gonna be boring if we just like recap what everything that's happened. Well why no, don't we not just ask watch? you to? That's fine. We let's let's show Timmy <laughs> Space Force. Well, you mean like the no, I don't wanna watch that show. That show looked like it was terrible. No, no, we're not watching that again. That was death. <laughs> no, let's watch it again. Come on. <laughs> was it bad? Yes. This is why. This I mean, is we why basically never, killed the stream. Like, this yeah. Is why really? We're never gonna play Mars. Yeah. Is we're just shitting on shows left and right. <laughs> Wait, this is why. Who's never gonna play Mars? Netflix. Why do we, Netflix. Have we have we have we shown on their other shows? Are there other shows of theirs we've been like, eh? I don't know. Okay. It doesn't. Well, matter. I saw a movie on Netflix that I thought was rad. What? What? It's a movie. Rad? It's called I. I'm. Uh, I think I'm. I think I. I don't know. I care Jesus a lot. Yes, I care a lot. Oh, I want to see that. What's yeah. it called? Okay. I care, I a, care lot. a lot. What's Isn't that? It a With uh, Ro- Rosamund Pike. Oh. No. What's that about? 
No, it's no? Peter, Peter Dinklage is in it. Yeah, uh, Peter Dinklage. There's other. There's more than one actor in the movie. <laughs> Who did you say? No, Rosamund, Rosamund Pike. Rosamund Pike. The fuck is that? She was See, in Gone Girl. The main actress yeah. in that movie. He doesn't do what? the actress he... name. He doesn't do actress yeah. names. Oh, she's great. She's great in it. Uh, <laughs> uh, but like, Trevor, you're 90 years old. <laughs> What's that? What's the name? Who's the pre- I love oh, that he was oh, immediately gal? like, "No, she's not in it. No. She's not." Who'd you say? <laughs> Rose oh. Pike. Who's that? She's the main actress in the. Oh, she's great. <laughs> yeah, you should check it out. It's good. <laughs> I want to see it. It looks oh, good. God. She's she's good. Do you ever see Gone Girl? No. Oh, she's the my, she's the lady in Gone Girl, she's right? The lady in Gone Girl. You, I, I, you probably like Gone Girl. Yeah, I think she's fantastic. Gone Girl is a cool no, movie. I did see that. That's the one That's where Ben Affleck not really dead. Jesus yeah. Christ, Trevor. Yeah. Oh, spoiler alert. Yeah, spoiler. Her? The Superman guy. She's in that. Is the Superman guy in it? She's the yeah. the main girl. Also. Oh. Yeah. Superman's <laughs> the main dude. in that movie? Oh, Batman is the main dude, Darren. Jesus. Doogie uh, Hauser, yeah. Doogie Hauser is in it. Yeah. Doogie Hauser's in it. Uh, what's Rad. that? That that girl who's friends with uh, like the Kardashians and stuff is in it. Uh, what's her name? I can't remember. Natasha Leone. <laughs> they have more than one friend. I can't remember. Oh yeah, you uh, see Ben. Oh. Somebody in chat just brothers. You see Ben Affleck's dick in Gone Girl. You do? Yeah, he gets in the no. shower and you see the dick. I got it. I bought it really cheap at a sale once. Timmy just Show logs off. Track. See you guys. You do, Clark. <laughs> it's dick time. Time for dick flex. Hey, let me do um, some thank yous real fast. Prefix yeah. Suffolk six 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 donated five bucks. Says I know Timmy was swinging from the net tonight. That baller. Homeschool sketch is my all time fave. Could we watch that one? We should watch that. We got to start watching sketches. That's- that's a fun one. Pumpkin shit donated a buck and says, "Hey guys, hope you're having a good day. I dare Sam to dip his balls in hot wax, but he won't. LOL. All right, see you later." Yeah, but he won't. <laughs> he <laughs> wouldn't. He won't. That coward. He'd be scared. Yeah, oh, he's you too motherfucker! Much of a pussy to do that. Oh, Ooh. I'll show you. No one calls me chicken. Damn right. Six two six donated five bucks. Says, "Can we watch getting pulled over by a fire truck or two guys getting high when a squirrel jumps in the car?" It's a fart party. Donated three bucks. Says, have y'all done the you seem to be peeing on my leg sketch? We did it last week. It's a fart party. It's a fart party. Welcome. We Minis did the peeing on my leg sketch. Donated says, my older brother showed me the grapist so. when I was like 11 years old and whitest kids quickly became a favorite between some buddies and me for years. Thanks for all the laughs, guys. You're the best. Thank you. Oh, we got to read Civil War reviews. Somebody just. Said. Oh, good call. Yeah. Pull some. Oh, up. yeah. Ram twenty three Wolf donated fifteen bucks. Thanks, man. He says rewatch Civil War. My favorite running joke was Timmy as Trevor's dad. Also, when is Kid Beer? Can't even find it on YouTube. Why is war? Why? Why is war? All right, I'm gonna pull up. What was the sketch I was gonna pull up? Uh, uh homeschool. Homeschool. Was it homeschool. And then, uh, uh, oh no, the Timmy one. Do the earn this bad at war. Oh, Bad at War? Oh, yeah. yeah. The one with the whole? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Battle Wound. Oh, I'm going to go. We do have a large go... amount of fan art, by the way, too, boys. But... I'm going to go leave a review on the Civil War on Drugs movie right now. One star, Darren. Or half star. All right. I'm just kidding. We have 216 reviews on Civil War. So thanks, guys. Wow, that's oh, great. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. dudes. Cool. Yeah, 97% up, like, or are five star. We're the best uh, reviews on the show, so... All right, here Thanks we go, dudes. Here it comes. Damn, they're dug in there pretty deep. Keep your fire on them until reinforcements can arrive. Ammo! I got a fresh box for you, sirs. Oh! Oh! You see the way that Robertson just died? Yeah, it was <laughs> fucked up, man. No, I mean, like, the theatrics. The way he was flailing his arms in the air, like he was some sort of sacrificial hero. Yeah, I guess it was pretty over the top. Kind of like he was some main character in a war movie or something. Um, I hardly think that Robertson was the main character. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's more like one of the guys in the background. <laughs> oh! 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 <laughs> Oh, <laughs>
Jeez. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That guy kind of did the same thing the other guy did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Guess it was kind of like the pot calling the kettle black there, right? <laughs> yeah, totally. What a drama. <laughs> oh my god. Ooh. Is it bad? Pretty bad. Because it feels bad. I'm not hamming it up or anything, though. No, not at all. <laughs> I don't even know how you're still talking. Okay, well... It's getting pretty dark now, so I'm just gonna lay down over here. <laughs> Please don't make fun of me. I wasn't going to. <laughs> You're one tough son of a bitch. A brave soldier who... No, 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 no. Just, I'm gonna go to sleep. It was nice being in this war with you, and uh, I'll see you later. I will see you later. I'll see you later in the great beyond. No, shh, don't. Just, just let it happen. <laughs> Please don't make fun of me. Thank you. a compilation of ending sketches is hard that might be a <laughs> I love that. pretty good i love it too i no, love it totally. too but it's just so like silly and like what that's what yeah it's our all's quiet on the western front sketch <laughs> yeah <laughs> we might have written that on the day i don't know if that was in this in the script war's done yeah maybe yeah, I I feel like maybe in the edit room or no because like, no, on set no so oh, oh yeah, yeah. right I, I I do feel like that was like a how do we end this? I don't know. Yeah. This sure. Yeah. It's funny though. I it's love funny. the the detail of uh, put your guns in the bucket and pick <laughs> up a meal voucher. Yeah. I like how Sam's got the jankiest toy cowboy rifle. I, I mean. No. And also Trevor's that's the most a, prominently shown gun. Like we should have put that one in the back with Timmy and you had a good looking gun. Like what the fuck? Trevor's one is very janky. You really? just don't see enough of it. Mine His is, is like, like like short, like in like silvery plastic. They always we always got screwed with guns. Like yeah. uh and then but then also at the same time it didn't matter what gun. This is also the same with sniper business and a lot of sketches. No matter what gun you give us, we just pretend like it's like a uh, like a semi-auto. Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> um, this sketch was smart. so difficult to edit because so it starts where the camera is like in front of the the trenches looking at you guys, right? And then I die, and then Trevor dies, and then the camera flips around when Sam and Timmy are talking to each other, and so we cross the line, and so in the edit it was like. It looked yeah. like Sam was looking this way and then this way, and it was a whole thing. So we had to like reverse it and the edit, and and now it plays where like Sam and Timmy have actually swapped places, and it's like, and it's one of those things that we just like agonized over in the edit. And then when you watch it, like nobody notices. It doesn't fucking matter. It looks yeah. no one gives a shit. Actually, when we were it watching on the, people in the chat, were like they crossed the line. Seriously. Yeah. Oh, people in chat were saying that. Yeah, people in oh. chat were like they crossed the line. They crossed the well, line. Well, fuck me. Were they really? It is. Yeah. But that was also, that conversation also happened on set, too. We couldn't figure oh, yeah. out. So, what well, the now, having experienced what we should have, you yeah. could have, we could have fixed it all with the background. We kept the trees in the background when we were this way, and we flipped. We should have just lowered you guys so that the sandbags were like right behind your head. It would have been fine. Yeah. But we fucked it up. Welcome uh, back to yeah, Dad. Is that a film set? Yeah. Uh, Jack says, unwatchable. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I gotta I, say, man, uh, when, I love the effects on the the hole in my head. The effects are so great on that hole in my head. So you know good, I mean? dude. It's so fun it's to funny. watch. It's funny. Awesome. It's like not realistic, but it like makes it pop because it's like when he's leaning down and it's like 
whatever's behind him is like just completely bright there's no shadow or anything like that yeah. there's like huh. it takes you out like a little but like i i love the look of that like it's like so hollow that all light is getting through i loved it Honestly, about that is it's not consistent because it's like sometimes there's like a piece of the skull behind the top of the hole and then sometimes there's not <laughs> yeah um one thing i love is like Tre the way Trevor's at it, like we're sitting there and we're like shooting Trevor uh, Zach's character dies and Trevor's immediately like hey isn't that <laughs> like he, he immediately relaxes it's like yeah no wonder he got shot <laughs> I think Trevor getting shot is actually my favorite moment in the whole sketch because it, it's really brutal yeah and, and he just does the funniest like oh like it just cracks me up so much. Oh, 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 oh God! I that love it. The, uh, that's the Saving Private Ryan joke, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, we love that joke. Oh, I love that. I've I've been I make that joke a lot of times. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody says Zach crawling out of frame. Do I crawl out of the frame? Yeah. That's. Funny. Oh, do you I really? Notice. I didn't notice that. Wait, should we watch that? I want to see that. This sketch is fucking film school one on one, baby. <laughs> Oh, here's whatever, the thing sorry. a lot of times a pain. Sketches, some of the sketches we have to film are at the end of the day and a lot of times it's very hot where we have to film because we would hot. film in the summer a lot and yeah, so like it's like minutes it's good enough. It's good enough can we go home yeah, yeah exactly it's like we're hungry this was <laughs> this was in that park that we used to shoot at like all the time yeah but in this queens wasn't over in that farm? this was in that park no oh. i think this was the park it reminds me in in Civil War. I, I was watching it with my wife who'd never seen it, and like there's a scene where like Timmy and I are, Timmy and I are doing the like call and response thing, you know, like yeah. the pathway is rough and muddy, and it looks like I have a big beer belly, and then it cuts to Trevor, and and it looks like he has this big beer belly. It's because it was 105 degrees and humid as yeah. fuck, and we had big ice pack belts yeah. that we were wearing under our wardrobe, like to keep us like tolerably cool. But right. now it looks for the rest of our lives like right. like we're like these like dudes in our twenties with like giant beer bellies. Well, that's why you guys made yeah. me get fat for the first couple seasons, just so that no one noticed your beer bellies. And then I lost weight, and now they're <laughs> yeah. there they are. You know? Yeah, we foie gras you <laughs> with pizza and you know what? Yeah, I, I remember. Have you guys like that shit? Have you ever eaten foie gras? No. I, it's I, like goose I puke, have. right? It's goose puke, goose liver. Yeah, I went Goose to a liver. party, um, and uh, they had a plate of foie gras, whatever the how, however the fuck. I'm not gonna say it. Right foie gras. Now. They had a foie gras there, but I didn't know what it was. And um, I just tried one, and I was like, "This is, this is fucking great." And then um, I kept like watching the Oscars, and I was just sitting by the thing, just eating it, you know. And <laughs> then, uh, like I was like, "Oh." God damn! I just ate this whole. I ate all these things. We should. I should tell the people like that. And then my wife came up. She's like, "You ate all that?" And I'm like, "Yeah." She's like, "That's foie gras." I'm like, "What's that?" And she's like, "It's like a very expensive thing." She's like, "Did everyone see you eating it?" I'm like, "Yeah, I've just been eating it this whole time." And she was like, "Get away from the table." And like, we had to go to the party. That's a curb. Hey, Darren. Darren, stand up for a second. Check out that Why? Dick. Stand up. Why? Just do it. Why? Just walk. Walk yeah, out no. and walk in. No. I want everyone in chat to see this Why? what 20 years of trust is like. Because <laughs> everyone in chat is freaking out. What? Bulge town? Uh, <laughs> my dick you walked in a frame and all, every comment was like, Darren, big dick, Darren, congrats on the big dick, Darren. Darren's balls is out of control. Who married that bald? Who married that bald? <laughs> Show, it show like us that period. fucking hog, baby. <laughs> Dude, nice. that's one of my. That's probably my low key favorite stupid term for a dick is hog. Like, yeah, <laughs> check out my hog. <laughs> Got a big hog. <laughs> Yo. One of my good friends once called it. Uh, he was drunk and talked about hooking up with somebody. He's like, "Yeah, I'm gonna give her my healthy hog." I'm like, "Elfy hog." Didn't say that to her. <laughs> healthy hog. Oh, healthy. Timmy, I don't want you hanging out with that guy anymore. It's Casey. I've known him for fucking 30 years. Yeah, I don't want you hanging he out with Casey Bobo. anymore. I he know. Was Bobo. Yeah, he was in Bobo. Bobo. Yeah, you're right. And actually, our other roommate, my good friend Casey, our other roommate uh, once uh, told me he was also intoxicated at the time. 
he was giving me girl advice back in like 2004. He goes, let me tell you, man, you just got to give her the curvy interview in her tight resume. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it was meant as a joke. I kind of loved it, you know. But, that you yeah. love that joke? I mean, it was it was you know it was like not he didn't mean it. You, it that wasn't <laughs> real advice. <laughs> I'll be honest, I don't even get it. Yeah, I don't get it either. That was, yeah. That's why it was great. Anyways, now that's out there on the internet. <laughs> Good night, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Fucking uh, chat is like going on. They can't stop talking about uh, Darren. They can't get over oh, your penis. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Somebody says it's Darren hilarious. stops. Just Somebody stand up and give him another gander. Yeah. Just do it. Come on. No. Dude, healthy Dude, hug. Be Dude, young. Healthy hug. Healthy hug. Darren, is there anything healthy in your hug. Healthy uh, a dick outline? I got nothing. I got a wallet in my pants. Oh, was it the wallet? That's probably what it was. Yeah, it probably was. It's like this thick. Oh man, look at that fucking wallet. <laughs> yeah, that's what you saw, guys. Someone in the says, front of your pants? I will buy Darren Gray sweatpants if he wears them on stream. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, people want to see the your dick contour, man. How do we auction that off? Yeah, so the auction, oh. somebody, Snorkel Steve just said 1848. But he said Battle of Waterloo, 1840. Oh, like as in that's the year it happened, but that's what he's bidding, I'm guessing. Oh. oh. Pretty for rad. Some, for some Napoleon fans out there. Dope. Why not? Dude, Somebody, he's my favorite character in Bill and Ted. Sorry, what? This could be workplace sexual harassment. What? That's what some uh, us uh, asking Darren to telling stand a up. coworker coworker over Zoom to show show you their bulge. Oh yeah, we're gonna get yeah. him a uh, New York Times. Who was that yeah. guy? That guy that took out his healthy hog on his Zoom call that got fired from uh, the New Yorker. Oh yeah, yeah. Cuomo. Um, I'm <laughs> right, gonna write gotta... a letter to. Uh, I'm gonna write a letter to fucking Twitch about you guys <laughs> what do you think is the most oh look at sam oh, oh, sam what damn, are you doing dude. Dude. holy shit. jesus christ damn that had the opposite effect on chat we, we just dropped down to 25 viewers <laughs> sam you just actually like showed your dick <laughs> chat is going sam had a mike and ike in his pocket <laughs> <laughs> it was a can it was just cans. 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 Where's Greg? Where's Greg? Bring Greg on. He'll show us some contours. Oh my god. Greg, tell that joke. Uh, uh, what do you, what do you think boys. is the most Damn. out and out blatant sexual harassment any of us have done? Like that would hold up in court. <laughs> like to each other. To each other. To each other? Oh, yeah. well, the time we made Timmy, oh. uh, we filmed Timmy, uh, we put a fake dick in Darren's pants and filmed Timmy sucking it. That's probably a probably there. that. Oh yeah. What about, oh, what about the time the Darren jerked like, Timmy yeah, off on stage? Well, yeah, but that was that was art. That, that was like that's uh, that's uh, protected under cabaret law. The time I texted you guys a picture of my dick. Yeah, that yeah, was he did do that. <laughs> <laughs> or those Polaroids of your balls, Sam, coming out of your ass crack. What? What? Well, that would be you guys sexually harassing me. The time yes. Sam pulled his pan his yeah. dick out and pissed all over his hands in front of everybody. Uh, at work, uh, I think it's yeah, the time at that work. Sam like, sent, we didn't uh, ask him to do that. I think it's when Sam sent us all because, like, a dick pic apropos of nothing. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. let's be clear, it was only like a couple years ago, so it was like yeah. you know we were like kind of all <laughs> off doing our own thing, and it was it was like 2016 or something. That's suddenly like here's Sam's dick. Oh, I was driving. I, I was driving. <laughs> And I got a bloop, and it was like text from Sam. I was like, oh, let's see. I was like, yeah, what the fuck? Like that. And then I think I immediately called Zach. I was like, did you just get it? Did he send it? You know what's funny? I have no memory of this. Oh, really? really? I got to own up to something about that. Is uh -oh. I was in the car with Emily, and I think someone said something, and Emily was like, just send them a picture of your dick. And I was like, that's funny. And so yeah. it wasn't even my idea. It was Emily's that's idea. Funny. I remember we were having some conversation about something and then you did it. That's what happened. Yeah, I think wow. I think I think someone made a dig at me and I came my comeback was sending a picture of my Your dick. comeback. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> come comes out of see dick. you. My favorite text thing was Sam, Darren, and I, I think it was the three of us. I don't know if we were all, but we were on tour. I'm 
I'm not blaming Emily. I'm giving her credit. Yeah. I'm not <laughs> ashamed of Ted this. Cruz thing. You're doing Ted Cruz. You're oh, like, no, you're doing the Ted Cruz. Like, oh, no, God, I'm not. Me. I, my daughter's in I wish I could take credit for it. I wish I could take credit for it. I thought it was a great move. The uh, one of my favorite text things was we were, I think Sam, Darren, and I were on tour and <laughs> we're, we're driving in a rental car and Darren's wife texted him. Uh, Darren, you remember this? <laughs> she, yeah. she texts something like, I can't find, it was like she couldn't find something. <laughs> it's something very benign. Just, yeah. yeah. I, thought, I thought it was was maybe that you texted her like, hey, I'm having in and out like to be like, hey, isn't this great? And she texted back that you were like, she was like, well, I'm having and said something like a really nice dinner. Yes, I was with you guys on this one. It was when the four of us were driving through the Midwest. I remember this. And I just remember. And then Darren, your reply to that was. Well, Darren was like, what should we type? And, and, and somebody said it. I don't know who said it, but Darren's like, OK. And he just sent that. Go ahead, Darren. Like, I, I don't remember what no, it was. What, no, what no, I do. So, so Darren just texts back, fuck you, shit face. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I was like, what should yeah. I send back? And somebody was like, text back, fuck, fuck you, shit, you face. shit face. I was like, all right. We did. And I, I sent that to her. And it was an immediate, the phone immediately rang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, I remember that. We were driving in my car to Des Moines that, for that Des Moines show in 2013. And that's, I, yeah, that was a great time. So what happened? Did she get, was she pissed? I forget. I don't know. I think she was confused. It, she, it, was, it was fine. I was like, yeah, I'm just fucking around. She's like, it okay, isn't... whatever. No, seriously, you do have to get this done. <laughs> she like launched into real relationship talk. That's funny. Um, the best thing that, that we did, well, one of my favorite things, and it's illegal now, I guess, was the whole texting thing. You could, you could text and call people from a different phone number. Yeah. You know, there were like apps that you could do that. And uh, my wife's sister, there was there. It would modify your voice. So you, I would call my wife's sister from her dad, and it made my voice, which is a very high pitched voice, talk like him, sound like really deep, and it sounded exactly like their dad. Like amazingly, it's great. And so I would call Rachel's sister, and just be like, "Where are my tools?" <laughs> Be like, what? Dad, I'm at work. Like, you were playing with my tools at home. Where are my tools? Dad, I don't know. <laughs> it, was, it was the best. That thing was amazing. I remember that because you guys, you guys called idea. me from fake numbers a few times. Oh, Timmy, program. they called me from your ex's phone and really? left a very suggestive voicemail. We talk about it? And I woke, I got it the next morning. I was like, oh, this is this is so bad. This is so bad. Yeah, Sam and I were wasted. Like, and so we like did it and we called from your ex's number. And I was just like, yeah. hey, hey, Zach, I just always liked you. And like, and I, I was like, I just had a couple of tricks and I'm just kind of like, I don't know, I just like you're cute. Like that. But then Sam and I go, ha ha ha. We continue drinking. And we like uh like forgot about it. And then the next day. Zach calls the guys. Guys, I gotta talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Someone says, and he didn't even tell Timmy about it, but I'm pretty sure I've heard this story. Before. Well, we I'm discussed sure this on the stream. Where it's like, what's the right move? Should I have just called you, Timmy, and not said anything, and just been like, this happened? Which this happened I was recently? actually arguing. Yes, that would have been the right thing to no. do. And Trevor and Sam oh. were like, no, oh. you, no. You. Oh. <laughs> I think you did the right thing. Yeah, I would. Well, absolutely... Yeah, I mean, it, 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 I don't care. I think it's funny. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like if my wife hit on one of you guys and you told everyone else, I'd be pissed. I'd be like, Wait, it was oh, it was God. when we were still married. Uh huh. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't think. I I think it, it it's it would be good to get advice. I wouldn't be upset that like you went to like confer with another person to get advice. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I totally, oh no, no, no. You mean like how you're saying you did it? Yeah, yeah. I totally would have done that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, dude, what should I do? Person, I would definitely consult with one of the other five and be like, sure, sure. It was blowing up. Happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what I want to know true, is, cause I, it was like, do I blow up Timmy's marriage because of a drunken voicemail or? <laughs> And I think the answer has got to be, yeah, you got to tell. 
You got oh, sure, eventually. But now, yeah. how convincing was their voice, though? It was me. I, I it did the job. <laughs> didn't did the job. yeah, Trevor? Didn't it's, you do it? To Dad's Timmy old hat. Thanks for gifting. You you called Timmy from uh, his mom's phone. Yeah, you called me from my mom's number. Do you remember that? No. And I, so it looked like my mom. You guys used this program thing so that you called me and it looked like my mom's number. So I answer it, and I think all you said was like "fuck you" or something and hung up on me. <laughs> Yo, nine minutes till we close the auction on this plate. Nine o'clock. And that's when you got really upset at your mom, right? Yeah, so then I called my mom and said, fuck you, and it started this whole thing. <laughs> hey, let's read some Civil War reviews. Who's got a good one? Okay. Mm. Damn, are you Nick. I'm going to start banning people. People are being Why? assholes. Why? Uh, what are they just because, like, I don't, I don't want this. I don't want our chat to be a place where people are just mean. Sucks. Oh, I thought you were just like bored. I thought you're like, oh, I'm gonna start banning people. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> like, so you're not doing a new thing. Uh, I'll roll with it, Zach, if you really want to. But what's the plate at? Let's take a look here. Current bid is 1848. Bidding ends at 859.59. Whoa. Wait, it's at what? What is it at now? A 1848. Nice. That's great. Eight minutes away. All right, this, this Civil War on Drugs review is, uh, this documentary is one of the greatest pieces of nonfiction that I've ever watched. It's <laughs> full of historically accurate depictions of various individuals of fame and infamy and does not present the past through rose-tinted glasses. Five <laughs> bags of popcorn. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, that uh, was fun. Did we other. read the three-star review? That one's funny. Oh, yeah. Uh all the three star and four star reviews are like biggest praises. <laughs> the three, the three star, star, star really reviews is really great. It's yeah. absolutely perfect in every way. Wouldn't change a thing. Three out of five stars. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, it's really great. Hang on, people. Are oh, that's really funny. All right, to bid on on our Discord, there's a channel called Auction Chat. There's a link to our Discord in the about on our Twitch page. We're selling this plate, Obama fucking Statue of Liberty, while the Twin Towers watch in the background. It's at 1848. Don't go in there like Cyber Chess 2101 is right now and say 39 cents because it's not funny. Uh, LOL. Your time. <laughs> That's where you go to troll us, everybody. So yeah. go to our Discord. Darren, don't even say it. Write in a, a silly <laughs> we number. A bunch of people, though, because remember when we, we were like, you know, at one point, we were like, this could be like a cool cult, you know, but you still, you got to call the herd, you know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you still want it to be a cool cult? A cool cult. Is it not yet? We're getting uh, it. What are we doing? Oh, we're reading uh, Civil War reviews? Yeah, read another one. Okay. okay. Oh, I didn't log in yet. Let me go check it out. Only log on this to movie changed internet. my life. It, it might be the greatest film I've ever seen. Watching it is one of the most memorable moments in my life. It's a four-star <laughs> review. That was Zach. Zach wrote that one. <laughs> Watching it was one of the most memorable moments of my life. Four stars. Here's one that's five stars. The title of the review is Wow, Zach, and then it just says Chef's Kiss. Hey, all right. There hey, Timmy, go. show some fan art. Oh, I thought we were doing this. Okay, we can show fan art. There's some good ones. You guys ready? Yeah. 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 Okay. I'm going to interrupt, though, when we get close to our auction closing. Yes, that's yeah, fine. Uh, okay, <clears throat> here we are. So, uh, you know, we haven't streamed. To Valentine's Day was the day after the last stream, so there's some Valentine's Day fan art we didn't get to look at. So, somebody, uh, this is Ali Ooks on... Reddit uh, made some uh, mm -hmm. Valentine cards uh, using our lines from dating games. So here's Sam. I want to hear the sound of your boobs wiping on the hood of my car. <laughs> here's me. Please let me fuck you. I will pay <laughs> Please you. Please let me fuck you. I will pay you. Dude, that's it. Like, I would hand that one up. <laughs> <laughs> I want to swap you in the face with my <laughs> Fair, fair. I forgot about how great your jacket game was in that sketch. Yeah, that's... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He looks like a sketchy person. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Like he just sells really bad coke. Like it's mostly Clorox. Okay. Oh, uh, the the, the wardrobe like department definitely. Too. What? Yeah. He's like young and he's wearing like what a forty-five-year-old man. Yeah. Like leather it's coat like, would be. 
He he looks he you look too young to have had the six divorces that that jacket requires. Yeah. <laughs> I think the good thing about this this look though is like this jacket and this shirt combo, it says that they were reading the script. They were like, this is the guy that would say these things. That's yeah. horrible. Yeah. That jacket says that my car has a boot because I don't pay child support. <laughs> That's very accurate. It's like your older brother was a Coke dealer and you looked up to him. And yeah. you're just like, when he's out of town, you like grab the jacket. Yeah. That, that jacket mm. says I have a Celtic cross tattooed on my back. <laughs> We should, uh, uh, at, whenever we do talk about or show a uh, dating game sketch, we should talk about what we do when we go, when we're live and on tour with that sketch. Because we probably have a, a fair amount of great stories. There's the one from Arkansas where the ladies had to, uh, they had, we had sign language interpreters for the show. And then Sam did the boobs of wipe on the car thing and like just looks at the sign language and you're like, how do you do that one? <laughs> <laughs> you remember that, Sam? That was yeah, a yeah. All right, moving on. Huh. Um, so, oh, sorry, go ahead. Move on. We, I think in San Francisco we kicked people out of the audience during that sketch. Huh. Why? Okay, so what? They were talking or something. Yeah. There, and they, there was like this big like. Oh, I people were they, upset, they and standing out. up and like yelling at us. They came for a show, but they didn't know like what comedy show they were yeah. coming to see. Uh, I, I can't remember. Yeah. yeah, probably at Cobb's. Yeah. It was at Cobb's. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't Get my that. face off. Skip this one. Keep yeah, going. okay. So Future Reunion Tour made some recipe cards, and I showed one, but uh, when I did baked beans a couple weeks ago, uh, he changed it and put baked beans in there. I thought that was cute, so there's that. Uh, okay. Uh, he, this one's amazing. Gnarly Nolan's wife made this. Yeah, I love this. <laughs> oh, my God. You made this your awesome. Instagram, this is my, right? This is my That's Instagram awesome. icon now, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's so good. Dude, my my comment scared. on this picture was, it's a me. Hmm. It's a me. Oh man, that's great. Um, so somebody did. This isn't. Uh, well, poetry is art. So somebody wrote a poem. Oh, it's I not. I forget. Okay, I forgot about you. That you're still here. Anyway, so uh, <laughs> there once was a boy who lived on top of a mountain of chairs. As if that weren't enough, he also had blue hair. Oh Jesus Christ! The legends tell of the time when he fought an army of bears. Does that okay? Though when asked, he humbly said, "I wasn't even there." There you go. That is a nice little poem. Thank you, Calx Twenty One. Army of bears? What's that from? Because you're the bears in that sketch. No, no but look at the icon. Is character. that Jackie O? What sketch? What character is that? An army of bears. Is that his line? Trevor, what? There's a moon bear army in the in the, the moon biker gang, but then also uh, in the. Uh, it's uh, motorcycle mamas. There's an oh, army of no, bears yeah. over there. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. It threw us off because it's Snorkel's, in black and white. Hang on, guys. We're two minutes away. Minutes. We got to get okay. into this auction here. Okay. All right, cool. Snorkel we'll Steve just it. said 1930. Oh, boy. One minute away. Schwartz says 1939. Oh, God. My Lord. Is that Grunkle yeah. Steve you said? Grunkle Steve. Snorkel Steve. Aaron just said 2000. We're at 2000 for this bad boy. Oof. Whoa. Uh, I got a good review locked and loaded when we, right, we need on, we're almost time there. for that. We're at 2000. It's 859. We're less than a minute away. Hoo, 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 hoo. Trevor Moore is typing. Trevor, are you in there typing or someone with your no, name? No, not me. Okay. That's a deep fake. 2050. It is about. Hang on. I'm going to call it as soon as my clock goes over. Oh, shit. I'm done. This is like watching the Mars rover land. Yeah. 2021, 2250. It's coming. It's, oh, there. it's the Discord timestamps. Okay. Okay. Never mind. It's the Discord timestamp. Get my phone out of it. Discord I'll let, I'll let Lunar Elephant take over from here. 2250. <laughs> Very exciting. Nine, eight, seven, six. <laughs> oh, right. Because my phone is in the time lapse. Four, three, two, one. It's nine. Oh, no. It. Let's no. see. Was I wrong? 2250. Is that right? Aaron, 2250? Is that it? I'll let Derek, oh. tell me, man. What's the deal? 2250 got in there at 859. That's crazy. Is that it? 2250? Damn. I'm waiting for Derek to hit me up. Derek. I mean, to be fair, this is one of our 
absolute best items. Yeah, it's great. It's a, it's a banger. It's so twenty two dollars and fifty yeah. cents. <laughs> it is the rare. It set. is the rare Pokemon card of our troop. Yeah. You but know we will be selling two happen. more, which I've been clear about the whole time. Yeah. We're gonna sell who's mine. Who else are we selling? But that's it, Yours right? We did it. Okay. Let oh. I got one too. Yeah, and Sam's. Because this one, Derek, yeah, this one is going to Sam's. And yet you have um, made that clear that there are four of them. Yeah, yes, so I said there's four in existence, three for sale. Okay. How are we? How do I get uh, that Maximus uh, Gladius, his okay, uh, him, address? Aaron, I'm going to at you. Cool. Should we look at that's That's awesome. Thank you so much. That's fucking great. Why is that over there? Weird. Uh, here's here's a uh, I just a, my a review I really liked of the of Civil War. Mm -hmm. Not since Glory, nineteen eighty nine, Gettysburg, nineteen ninety three, Lincoln, twenty twelve, or Gone with the Wind, nineteen thirty nine, has a film so eloquently woven a tale of civil injustice, personal conflict, the tearing apart of a nation in the middle in the mid nineteenth century. The Civil War on Drugs begins in a very Huckleberry Finn fashion where we are introduced to Samuel Brown's character, Sam, a mischievous, clever young man whose needs for adventure push him from his life of a mere schoolboy. He eventually found himself alongside his childhood friend, Trevor, played by Trevor Leonard Moore. Trevor, Trevor Leonard? Uh, together they find themselves at the flashpoint that would spark the civil war itself and though it all would find themselves er, and through it all uh, would find themselves at the end of it as changed men I cannot recommend this movie enough to anyone who not only enjoyed the titles listed above but those who also desire a deep deep introspective look at how a young nation could become so fractured <laughs> that was a long review yeah I, th that think should, I think that should go on the back of the box i turned yeah. i just turned 40 we're uh yeah thanks everybody for leaving reviews we're gonna read some every week um yeah. but uh <laughs> we have 216 it's pretty incredible 216. yeah that's great i think it's our most reviewed whitest kids thing if you look on amazon Wow. We have, uh, he just paid. We, we did it. We did it? This Thanks. is the way to do it. It's more fun, too, because it's like real time. Yeah. It's awesome. yeah, yeah, sure. Hey, so uh, Aaron, thank you so much, man. Aaron is the winner. Thank you. Came through. True to his word. We That's didn't get awesome. trolled. Nice work, Aaron. Fuck eBay. We finally did it. Thank it took you, us sir. three weeks. And then eBay doesn't take a piece of it either. Don't do that. Well, Venmo yeah. takes a little piece, but That's it's the price cool. of doing business. We got to make our own payment service. <laughs> not it. I'm not going to do it. Great. I love it. Yeah, I'll, I'll, ask, I'll ask Derek yeah, if he sure. can get on that. I'm sure we'll figure that out. Yeah. Yeah. We're lucky we're call all somebody. on camera Tell right him. now. Tell him your idea. We're, we're <laughs> asking people to help us figure out how to make a Reddit post. By the way, someone you know, in the chat said that they at, they did a request for us to do a Reddit AMA, like they posted that, but I don't know what that means. So like, does that does what, what, does that help us? Well, we're mm -hmm. doing it. Yeah. Um, it'd be amazing, like if everyone was like following us and and helping us get to this Mars movie thing, and we just took like, this real sharp left turn into like building a payment service, like technology. <laughs> For like Twitchers, we just and, like, we, that's just a dumb app. <laughs> Every everyone's saying WKU coin. Oh, yeah, how do we make Bitcoin? Yeah, a, a I think it's coin. a I think it's a hard process. <laughs> Boom, a long so. time. Don't you just say it? Don't don't you just say you have one and then people send you money? Is that how that works? You just say I have this coin and then send me your checks. No? We should figure out how to make our own cryptocurrency. Hi guys, it's Aaron. Yeah, Thanks you for can gifting. Put... What? Hi guys, it's Aaron. Gifted five subs. Yeah, dude. Hey, oh. here's here's the quick donos real real fast. 
No scoped JFK donated says Timmy, any chance you can bust a tune out on that keyboard? Also, I heard Airbud was just yeah. Timmy shooting hoops in a dog costume. Keep laying down those threes. Yeah, big Timmy fan over there. Agent uh, Looper donated twenty bucks. Says if you haven't watched to... a John Williams sketch, I beg you, please do. It's got my favorite sleeper joke in the entire series. Sherwin. What does that mean? Sherwin. Oh, Sherwin Williams. Yeah. Oh, his son. Uh, Sherwin Williams. Williams. Yeah, 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 yeah. Solson sure, Eleven donated twenty bucks. Says Timmy, if you are ever in Brookings, hit me up and I will get your drinks for free all night. P.S. I'm a millennial too. Wink, wink. Nudge, oh. nudge. Oh Ooh. fuck, Timmy. Timmy, you this person like eats ass. Ass eating and basically uh, making. You eat ass too. Both of you eat ass. You can eat each other's asses. <laughs> you could six. Can you sixty nine that way? Sure. Yeah, why not? Well, I He's feel like it'd be kind of hard, right? The asshole is hey, yeah, got to kind of like uh, you get sixty nine butts. It's just a couple inches over. You really have to bend. I, it's a couple inches, but it's aiming the other way. Am I crazy here? Jeez. Someone says no. That's no, a ninety six, which I think is a great term for it. It's a what? Paul Bellini in chat says no. That's a ninety six, which I think is a great term for it. It should be called a ninety six when you're just. Uh, mm. <laughs> that is good. Mick Rob donated 10 bucks says, if I make an uncensored version of baby beer, will you watch it? Is that the roadblock? What? I don't know. Snorkel Steve donated and says, fuck, I lost, now what? Well, we're gonna, we're gonna auction another one another we'll time, buddy. You'll get, you'll get another crack at it. I'm gonna play something now. When was the last time you've dined on ass? You're asking Timmy? What? What? Well, he's, he's the resident he ass. What? Yeah, hey, he's what? a pro. Said, when was the last you... time you dined on ass? Oh, a long, long time. I don't know, oh. dude. I haven't. You think he wrote it in my... his journal? Hey, Timmy, when was the first time? Also, a long, long time ago. I, I don't like. I don't know. Uh, you know, hey, don't pretend like you don't about know. Probably seven, eight you years know. ago. Everyone remembers their la their first ninety six. It was. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Probably about seven years ago. But I mean, what happened? Know, Give I us haven't the, done anything in a long time. I ate someone's ass when we were like doing stuff. Did they? Did well, yeah, they but before you started, were you like, "Hey, I'm thinking about. I want to try to eat your ass a little bit later. <laughs> Can you go take a shower and make it nice and clean for me?" Great question. I think, yeah, yeah, right. yeah. No, it, it wasn't. Yeah, no, it was not. Was it like discussed a, before it happened? Shut the fuck up, so I can answer one question at a time. Uh, yes, you you plan it out so that you can like not eat poop. So do I mean, you talk about it at dinner? You're like, when we go home. No, it's just like you know, it's just like later. It's like you know, it's like hey, I want to do this now. I'm gonna go wash up. That's what it was. No. So b before that, did you guys kiss a bunch? Yeah. So it's like on the third date, you're like, this is the third date. I think we all know so where this is going. I'm gonna sounds romantic. Fucker. So I hope you'll take a shower <laughs> after dinner. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go back to fan art. Uh, you guys are just abysmal, just abysmal. All right. <laughs> so, uh, I'm just about, a fan of who's kissing. abysmal? No, who's I'm cool abysmal? With it. No, it's just like we get it. I said I eat ass. You know. <laughs> I mean, but what else do you want to talk? I mean, what else do you want to say about it? I mean, you know, what else? We're just is there? asking questions. Well, man. I just want to know more just about question, it. But what other questions? Ask another question then. It's, you're all asking the same things at the same time. Do you We're make, interested. Do you make them like, I know, I can't do you make you. them insert a bar of soap or anything like yeah. that? Like how far do you put a bar of soap the inside cleaning? their ass and then you chase the soap. Are you, are you supervising the cleaning? Are you in there with, in the shower? Like, no, more, more. Yeah. See, this is a, the, the, it's cause I trust people. <laughs> yeah, but can you, can you abort a couple of minutes in where you're like, not enough, go back. <laughs> yeah, sure, why not? Okay. You know? yeah. Trevor. If Dude, anyone's okay, making you do sex stuff, that's not okay. Yeah, exactly. Also, <laughs> just, just so you know, where you're I'm like, worried. Dude, if you're yeah. putting your If face... anyone's forcing you yeah. to do sex stuff you don't want to. Blink twice. Blink twice. Here's the thing. So if you're like uh, at a point with someone where you're putting your face in their ass and there's no money exchange, it's just doing it out of like for, for kicks. Like then you, there's already some trust there. So it's like, okay, yes, you've probably washed your asshole if you told me you washed it. 
Timmy, don't you ever trust anybody. If I can, if I can lay one <laughs> piece of advice to you, don't you ever fucking trust anybody. I know that there, like, I go, I go, you know, person by person. Like, there's definitely four people that I don't trust, but like, I always go person by person. You know? Are we the four people? Yes, it was a joke. Sam got it. I love you, man. I trust you guys with a lot of things. <laughs> Anyways. All right, are we done now? No, you can ask more questions. I just like it started. It was such a storm. Were you nervous? Like, no, I'm not nervous. But it's like it, it, no, it no. Just, I mean, when you were eating, this is my question. Were you oh, nervous? No, I was probably drunk and horny. It's fine, you know. So, it was well, honestly a long time ago. So I, I, I don't really know. I just know that it's happened. But did you get your <laughs> ass eaten in the same section session? Great no, question, no, Darren. No. I, I've gotten a finger in the butt before, but not. not Which that. finger? I don't know. I, it wasn't my hand. <laughs> tell? tell, dude. What? Yeah. I knew it was a finger. It was okay. I'll tell you this, Trevor. It was not the thumb or pinky. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you baby bared. You baby bared it. I'm just like, what? what? I mean, well, no, Trevor's like, it. you I, didn't I know. <laughs> oh, I would have definitely known if it was a ring like, finger. How do we do this? You, you, so you like, it's in there, and you're just like, hey, hey, what, what, what? You know, does that? But also, I was worried because uh, the only thing that I know that the consistence between like Timmy's uh, uh, girlfriends or partners that we met throughout the years is they all have just massive fucking thumbs. <laughs> You know, I I go to video game conventions and that's who I meet. You know, just people who play. Yeah. Anyways, they all had thumbs. Jacked like thumbs. Wallet. What, Trevor? We they should... all had thumbs like Darren's wallet. Yeah, we should have saved all this talk for the front page. This all this butt. Wait, are we, stuff. I yeah. thought you did. Wasted you opportunity. Not, not on the front page today. I thought it was. For some yeah. reason, they didn't get back to us. No. Oh, and I'm not going to be here next week, so, you know. <laughs> some insane for some reason. reason. For some reason. They're like, hey, those that that comedy group wants to do a front page again this Saturday. Okay, what'd they do last time? <laughs> you can't help but going down the butthole path. Right. I really, I really hope they were like, "All right, we didn't get back to them, but let's just see how their stream's going, anyways, to see if they're ready for next week." And we're like, "What finger was it?" <laughs> we just can't not talk about how many knuckles. knuckles. Yeah, I, I just want, I just hope we get the phone call one day where they're like, "Guys, this is for people to play Skyrim." <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Ram." They said, "Ram." <laughs> Coin Boy donated five bucks. Says you can offshoot ETH as a different coin, but it takes a lot of money when creating your own coin from scratch. WKU Coin would be a good investment either way. Hi guys, it's Aaron, who's the one that bought the plate. Says Zach, are you going to sign the back of that plate for me? Sure, but also Trevor and Sam could sign it too. I could, I could rally these signatures before we ship this bad boy out. Like do that. You, you, you'll hang out with me, right? Are we there in COVID? I mean, I, I, not without a mask, I won't. Oh, okay. But you, but you will hang. You would hang out with a mask. Yeah, I, I would do an outdoor hang without a mask. I would do an outdoor hang. Indoor, gotta have a mask. I wouldn't do an indoor hang. For, for a second, I thought Trevor was not interested in seeing Zach if he had to have a mask on. Like, yeah, you know, you yeah. See him, you know. <laughs> I'm like pass. <laughs> Unsolicited <laughs> Timmy pick donated and said, "You can't sixty nine butts should be on Timmy's Wikipedia." <laughs> Dude, someone put it on there. Every once in a while, I'll ask people to put something stupid on there, and it never lasts. They, somebody take Let's it. Let's do it. Snorkel I asked them one time to do... Oh, look at that kitty. Snorkel Steve you donated do three people. Bucks, said that was fun. Have another 25. Thanks, dude. Sorry you didn't get it. I apologize. Sam, there's a good movie about that when they get three people to eat ass. Called, <laughs> true, true. It's called The Human Centipede. <laughs> yeah. Is it good? Uh. Human know. Centipede is worth watching. I, yeah. Did you ever see the sequels, Zach? I was thinking about watching the sequels because they're meta. I haven't I seen it. Be fun. If I have, well, I've forgotten course, it. I know I've, I haven't seen the third one. Jimmy, have you watched it? The I've watched one? the first one, yeah. Is yeah, it but you really love that kind of thing. That's like really your your lane. Yeah, I watched it to get into the mood. Right. Yeah. You're like, did you watch that movie? Did you have that playing while you were doing it? Yeah, we're like, oh, look, we're just like the people in the film. <laughs> Timmy, Timmy is. I don't know if that movie was out yet. It was a long time ago. What now? What? It said Timmy is to ass as Garfield is to lasagna. <laughs> right. It always brightens up my Monday. Was she on her back or was she on all fours? Great question, Darren. You have good questions. I think uh, fours. I don't know. 
I think or, I'm ready to stop this line of questions. Fair enough, fair enough. Okay, I'm sorry. Right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. I'm just very curious. I'm a curious It's fella. okay. Anyways, <laughs> let's go back to fan art and pretend none of that ever happened. All right. So, uh, so uh, okay, the next one. What's the next one? I don't understand this, but I always like Beanie Weenie's stuff. So this <laughs> – uh, I don't really know what's going on here, but I like that. So. All right. Anyways, okay, so this is uh, May McDonald Music uh, wrote me and asked me to make sure I got to this one. This is her Wow Zach Wow okay. logo. I like that. And that's I don't you understand the these images at the bottom. So there's the, a... The, the ladder, I think, is that guy that the hardware store thing. Oh, the murder. Oh. The ladder is the murder. The, I guess this... The crowd surfing. That's Tom York cusses Radiohead. Okay, what's the sunset one? Oh, that's the person I kicked in the in the chest. So I I jump kicked a woman in the chest. Um, that turned out to be someone I didn't think it was. Oh wow! Okay. Uh, and what's that? Wait, what? I, it was a story I told on on Newsboys where I I, I was hiding from someone and a, a woman approached me and scared me and I kicked her in the chest. You guys gotta watch Newsboys. You gotta Boys. watch Newsboys. I can't tell the story again. Mm. What's that other right. one though? I don't watch newsboys. Is that a reference to the uh, kidnapping thing or no? Oh, what it does it? look like someone that's kidnapped. Is it? Yeah, is I bet that, that's what it is. Have you talked about the video games thing or something or no? Okay. I don't think I've talked about that. And then there's like two marshmallows. What's up with those two marshmallows, dude? <laughs> I think that's my uh, mason jar with ice. I like this. Oh, uh, okay. I'm into it. I like the style. It looks yeah, like a, cool. a, a, yeah, like a cool. block print. Yeah, I'm surprised yeah. Jimmy Fallon in my fist fight is not on here. Maybe that's oh. what that ogre-looking thing is. Hmm. Hmm. All right, so uh, moving on. What do we got Cheddar next? Goblin, um, thanks for gifting. Okay, uh, so Mr. M made this back when it was Sam's birthday, but at that point we were not uh, showing fan art, uh, and then we got better at the internet. So now Mr. M added President's Day to this. Uh, this is his Sam Love logo. This thing is fucking incredible. I love the Sam's this. nut is hanging out of his collar. It's yes. Awesome. And he's in the, and that's, that's him in the Hugh Hefner yeah. tryout too, right? Yeah, the audition. So, yeah. And uh, Sam's a little muscles. bit of a mash chop. Yeah, this is great. Yeah, uh, this is like, a good one. Sam, you should uh, you should get this art on your wall or something. <laughs> a lot of good. Sam's characters are so angry. <laughs> yeah, look at them. They're all like, well, then you got like, well, yeah, the the genie's just kind of sad. Then you got Happy Sam muscles. So Take three uh, so, out of five. Yeah. So Mr. M also made some newest art for Valentine's Day, uh, which I don't know if y'all saw it on Reddit, but it's really something. So here's that. Oh, that's good. <laughs> nice. Trevor's uh, pimp punk character. I never thought about character crossover in our universes, but that really makes mm. sense. You know, that's they a give you a, like that pimple you got. Yeah, your, right. That's uh, fucked up. What, Trevor? They give you a big herpy on your inner thigh. That's yeah. what it looks like. Or oh, and they base this off off of another picture. Yeah, so I, I'm going to show that next just to make it clear. So they base it off of a picture of Elvis and Priscilla. Oh, cool. <laughs> my my only day. beef with the baked beans drawing is that you have eyebrows. And I think it's very oh, important that baked beans does not have eyebrows. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, it's similar to Peppermint's uh. underboob situation. What's yeah. that green shit coming out of your bra? It's like a, I have it on a – I'm wearing a – I've got a necklace. I've got that on a necklace. So what is that? Uh, I know, is Mr. M, if you're watching, mm. I know Mr. M just talked to me on Twitter not that long ago, so let me know. Uh, okay, so, Timmy, do you have the cod piece that you wore in Baked Beans? No, I don't even know what that was. Um, so I wonder next... if it's because in the Elvis one she's wearing a necklace. Oh, maybe that's why. Yeah, that might be why. So, so, so the next thing coming up is not fan art, but there, and there needs to be some explanations. So uh, this was on Reddit, too. Uh, so this is a, a band called uh, Robots with Ray Guns made this album cover recently. And uh, this, this al actual album art is by Reno Massad. But so then uh, Nega Greg on Reddit said, uh, I saw this and I knew what had to be done. So he photoshopped this into it and made it uh, about peppermint, foot, and there is life cool. over there. So, yeah, I like that a lot. Uh, respect the under. That is awesome. Under, babe. Yeah. Uh, all right, what do we got next? Uh, know it flipped over made Sam has Mario. Dope. <laughs> Looks right. It's a me. <laughs> it's a. <laughs> it's a me. They they did very little to Mario here. They just, right. They just yeah. added. Oh yeah. Stubble and the glasses from Up. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, all you gotta do. All right. 
moving on. What do we got? Oh, Suvlaki and Grits did a bunch of uh, Trevor sketches. So these are This great. is so good. Yeah, dude. Uh, yeah. I love, uh, personally, I love lobotomized Trevor. Yeah. This is like the Rick and Morty show, right? Yeah, yeah. It's it's great. Yeah, yeah. It looks kind of like Matt Groening. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Definitely. Uh, so that, Brian, made this cool Civil War on Drugs movie poster. It's like Civil that. War on Drugs that 2. Awesome. Yeah, it does look like that, which maybe we should do that. <laughs> or the Civil War on dr- Drugs go to the World Trade Centers. Yeah. <laughs> I just love that the picture for Darren is Doug playing dead. I love that. I like the ponies at the bottom. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. That's great. Oh, that's what that is. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah, great. Yeah. Um, is there anything else? Yeah, okay. Uh, Tribbles, Tribbles, Bears did this based on a conversation we had last week. And they said it's kind of a deep cut. But so we were talking about how we one time at some point years ago, I we had a conversation about not knowing what bears eat. So mm. that's what this is. I think it's pretty cute. Uh, I like it. Else? Yes, good job. To, that's Tribbles Tribbles on Reddit. Then we got uh, Ye Too Who I'm not sure oh, how to pronounce oh, wow. thing. This is Trevor's computer, they said. I like that the space bar says ban. Yeah, so that's that's Trevor's computer. That must be a Newsboys like- reference. I don't watch that show. But, uh, Timmy, you've been really, <laughs> really Trevor emphasizing that you don't watch Newsboys. <laughs> There's a comment in here I love. It goes, The Rick and Morty show? Effing boomer. And I, I love that. Like, <laughs> Like it's like like the like the kids are like, uh, you don't fuck <laughs> you don't know how to say Rick and Morty. Yeah, because you call it Rick and Morty show, like you're talking about Carol Burnett. <laughs> fuck. How lame. I mean, I'm there's kinda with on them. Timmy's Wikipedia. Let's see if I can find this. Okay. Oh, so then there's this one. You crumb uh, did a Bugger and Meyer sketch. Uh, it was their first one and they're only on episode seven, so I don't know if that's you know, I don't know if the underboob was established at that point. But uh this is that's really yeah. funny. This retroactive. Yeah. Okay. Well, but anyways, I think the the the, the cherry on this particular Sunday is uh, the fuck Bucker said is fucking. I love his beard in this so much. <laughs> oh yeah, that rule. <laughs> like Trevor, can you accomplish that in real life? Do you think? Can you get there? I got. Uh, no, I got to like here. Okay. Like two years ago, and then my wife was like, "Would you please stop?" <laughs> <laughs> those hey. big beards when like i have a friend who's had one like down this far for years and it's like is everybody in your life okay with that you know it's just like it's huge it's like a thing you know well, I was hanging out my brother's you. beard's out of control is it anyways that's all the yeah. fan art so thanks thanks everybody Very that's good awesome stuff. hey yes. timmy your your wikipedia right now has a has a heading for your basketball career and it says <laughs> williams is known throughout south dakota for busting threes all day Pretty cool. I damn straight. Pretty cool. Yeah, man. Timmy, I would love to see a video of you just like fucking just jamming those threes like right down that net's throat, dude. I would love to. It was funny as that. Just stopped after fucking. <laughs> I'd love to see a video of you just fucking. I mean, I feel like you guys asked enough <laughs> questions that you could at least draw it. Um, but <laughs> anyways, you uh, don't have a video of you fucking though. Seriously though, right? Do What else you guys want to do? Ah! <laughs> no, I don't. I don't. I don't. Give me that sex tape. No, I don't. Um, How much money do you think we'd get if we auctioned that off, Timmy? Think about the movie. Oh. Think about the movie. I don't have one. I don't have one, though. And, uh, you know, one. I could make one. Uh, all right. Uh, I mean, I can't. But... All right, boys. I got to go. <laughs> it's it's past my bedtime. Yeah, get all right, Jeronius. In real life, Bye, Aaron, love you. I love you, Timmy. Later, buddy. Bye, I love you too, buddy. Later. See you later. Uh, yeah, no, no one pissed me off with the butt questions. I just got very uh, salt that my sensory overload because it was. Uh, it, and you're all excited. I get it. We all get excited about it. Um, well, also, you got to know us at this point, and you know when we see the butthole path, we're going down it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I get it. But I don't even. I guess I didn't catch when the butthole path started. To me, it's like I was like maybe maybe I was looking at fan art or something, and then suddenly it's like eating ass, eating ass. I'm like, wait, wait, wait. I know it's because that guy was like, Timmy, I'm a millennial. Oh, because a millennial. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Oh, okay. That, oh, that's what that. Was. Okay, okay, I got you. Yeah. I was behind on that one. So back to the basketball thing for a second, because you know I, I don't know if you all know this, but that I'm not actually much of an athlete, and um. My daughter, when she was like four, they had some like questionnaire at her preschool or whatever about like all the things you like to do. 
And one of them was like, what, what's your favorite activity to do with your dad? She said, play basketball. And everybody like saw it and they're like, what, do you guys play a lot of basketball? I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> like she had one of those little kid hoops and you know, that's like this tall, just throw the thing into it, you know, but like. She was like, she was like burning you. <laughs> yeah, she's like. <laughs> She's like, she's like, yeah, we like to do a lot of sports. My dad? Yeah, we like to do marathons. Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen him? No. We watch Justice League and he eats Oreos. That, that doesn't, doesn't scare him. <laughs> My favorite thing to do is come in, in the middle of the night, get the Oreos off his chest and check his pulse to make sure he's still here. <laughs> That's our favorite sport in my fucking life. <laughs> um... Let me announce really, really quick. So next week, if we're going to auction off another prop from the show, I'll probably, mm -hmm. what do you guys think? Like maybe Pizza Bagel's box? That'd be cool. Um, and bagel's as I box. said before, I'm not going to be here next week, so it can't okay. be one of my stuff. But just if you if you think you want to bid on, on any of our stuff, you have to log in and get verified through Venmo beforehand, or you can only bid 300 bucks. So oh. you got to go through their whole questionnaire process and all that stuff. So just okay. if, you, if you think you're going to want the item, that's what you got to do. If you don't do that, you won't get it. Unless it sells for two ninety nine. Well, thank you guys for watching again. Um, you know, we're we're doing. You know, like we we kind of had guessed where we would be at this point in funding the movie, and we were uh -huh. ahead of where we guessed we would be. That's awesome. Oh really? Oh fantastic! Again, like, you know, as much as we like, you know talk shit about the people who are like, you know, like saying mean shit in chat. Like we really do appreciate everything that you guys have uh, yeah. been doing for us. And, you know, uh, it's we're true. excited to be starting this movie this week. So thank you guys. Yeah, we're starting it this week. By yeah, this time crazy. next week, we will have recorded some of the movie. That's fucking great. That's crazy. Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, Tazu for uh, you, thank you. Jaden Coleman, thank you. Hey Worthless, appreciate you guys. I, I can't read everything, but I appreciate all the donations. Um, oh, all right, dudes. Rating? Uh, is a little John on? <laughs> oh yeah, Brent Weinbox raise? on. Did any oh, of you guys? Brent, let's read Brent. Yeah, we can do that. Uh, real quick though, did Brent any of you guys stay and watch? Yeah. Any, did you, any of you guys watch Little John after we rated him? No, I, a little bit, like ten seconds, was, thirty seconds. It was like it was kind of awesome. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I was in the high desert in Arizona. Oh and, yeah, and the high my power died. And so then, I, like, I wanted to watch the from the beginning, uh -huh. you know, because I'm a supportive friend, oh. you know. And so I like charged my uh, uh, thing, and then I went to watch it, and I couldn't watch the video because we were still an hour later. We were still broadcasting Little John's channel. Oh shit! Like, so couldn't watch it. So then, I don't think he stopped. <laughs> hey man, he parties. Dude, it's so it was him DJing and then just like basically stringing together lots of rap videos and stuff. But you know, uh, I wasn't aware that the more modern rap videos are like super R rated and there's like titties and stuff in them now. <laughs> he's just like nice. playing that and he's just awesome. going, like, yeah, yeah, you know, and yeah. it was like, it was dude, so funny. he makes so much money in Vegas just doing that every night. Like, dude, he makes he does? six figures a night easy Jesus. in Vegas. Just like playing, playing the same music, just going like, yeah, that's all. That's all he does. It's crazy. Were we all together makes. at the party where all of a sudden it was DJed by Lil John? Was that? Were we all together at the party where all of a sudden it was like, now it Lil should I can't John. should I cancel the raid? No, go ahead. <laughs> no, let's, let's do it. Right, 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 right. All right, Brent is hilarious. Thanks, Be nice to Brent. Yes, Brent's right. great. All right, later, dudes. We got. Yeah, totally. It seemed like a lot of fun. Wait, are you